me anymore I wish they would have helped you text back sooner thought I opened up a door I guess I closed the one that kept our future why am I always the one that does a changing I lost myself trying to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things I wish I never cut my hair Called all night Never let you love The songs I liked Always get too close And let me down I wish I never let us fall out I wish I never grew Got my hoodie in your drawer I know you wear it often as I'm gone I guess you take the things you want And leave me feeling like the lonely one Why am I always the one that does the changing? I lost myself Try to fix what's wrong while you go do the same things I wish I never cut my hair Called all night Never let Songs I like always get too close and let me down. I wish I never let us fall out. I wish I never grew without the way you say, cause now I'm so damn close to going insane when I look at my camera every day. I wish I never let us fall out. Wish I knew better than to take your crying. As a 
sign for me to change. I gave my all and now I'm barely fine with the memories hovering on my face. Wish I knew better than to take your crying as a sign for me to change. I gave my all and now I'm barely fine with the things I do every day. At least I never cut my hair cold all night. Never let you love the songs I love. You gotta settle down, feel your breathing start to shake up. Just gotta hear me out. No, it doesn't have to be your fault. Oh, you try to tell me I'm a broken one. You're the only one feeling like you're not enough. I know my issues. So baby, shut up, don't wanna talk about it Don't wanna let it out I know it's too much to handle No, you just want it to stop What is up, everybody? Happy Saturday night. I hope you're all doing well. I hope everybody's had an awesome weekend so far. Welcome, welcome. Tonight, we are finishing control, finally, before I burn my channel to the ground. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we're going to do the AWE DLC, which is technically, 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 it stands for Altered World Event in the Control and Alan Wake universes, right? But really, we all know that they named them Altered World Events and that that DLC is AWE because 
it's Alan Wake, right? And it stands for Alan Wake Expansion, right? It's got a little bit of the double entendre there, you know what I mean? If anybody else didn't pick up on that, I mean, I'm not the first one to... That's not a revelation, right? It's not a surprise. But uh, <laughs> anyway, this is the expansion, the final expansion that um, connects heavily to the Alan Wake universe and the Alan Wake Altered World events. And so I'm excited. This one is supposed to be more scary, more horrifying. It ups the the horror game and the horror element so this should be interesting um i'm i'm excited i'm excited i hope everybody's doing good welcome to the stream shorty panthera skilker i know you were here for a bit but had to dip out um leon good to see you the darkness welcome jacob scott workman uh mr diamante good to have you man i hope you're doing good jarvis shorty knight rider travis c cody chilcott sarah Redhead player with the $2 super chat said, Hey, Scully, glad to see you're finishing this game. Redhead player, you legend. Thank you so much for starting us out strong. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> Leon said, good luck, Scully. You're going to have fun. Oh, I've had a blast this entire time playing Control. It's such a great game. Such a... It seems to have gotten its dues via industry awards and everything. And I think people that played it loved it, but it flew under the like general radar i think for for big time um for some reason and it's just such a damn good game so that's disappointing i wish it got i wish it got more recognition for how freaking just awesome it is <clears throat> in that regard so but it did it did well enough that they are making a uh, control 2 sometime in the next uh few years here i think probably three to five we could expect control 2 to come out so i'm excited about that what's up michael c welcome to the stream mr gold ember welcome good to have you travis c has been a channel member at the squadron level for two months travis you rock star thank you so much i really really appreciate that dude that's the highest level that helps out a bunch you're an absolute legend Ra Ralgor, welcome to the stream good to have you appreciate you being here all right <clears throat> all righty um so We've did all of the main game, right? We've did all of the foundation. This is it. Our last mission for now is a dark place. I believe there are roughly there's like, again, there's three story missions with this. And if I remember, I think there's like six, seven side missions, I believe. Either way, it's going to be a good time. So I'm going to try to beat it all tonight. Um, hopefully we do uh let's see here do i need i don't need to do anything do i god we finished on the expedition stuff last time and that was Welcome such back, that was like oh that was that tested my combat abilities to the max dude to the absolute Don't max it was fun it's alan reaching for her trying to make her act it was a distress call Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? Investigation sector. All right. Hold on, though. We got a hotline call, too. And this time, it's... Is it from Alan? That's interesting, because Alan's not dead. He's in another dimension right now. So this control takes place between Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2, right? So there's that 13 year period between when Alan goes into Cauldron Lake uh, to switch what he thinks is switching places with his wife, right? To save her. And he's technically stuck in the, in the, in the dark dimension or parallel universe, whatever you want to call it, until the events of Alan Wake 2 happen and he gets pulled out essentially. Um, but... <clears throat> So, I don't know. Does that allow you access to the to the hotline? I don't know. Let's see. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Faden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star. And the previous director she was the perfect receiver as if she'd been made for this faden paused to feel it the force at play here 
It was changing things around her, subtle, trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away and made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man, a man desperate to escape. She sensed something else too, a hunger in the dark, not unlike the hostile resonance, waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator door slid shut with practice bravado. God damn, dude. So, interestingly, right, Alan has uh, wrote to himself or his future self before, and in Alan Wake 2, he's able to cross-dimensionally speak or interact with or influence Saga Anderson, right? The other main character in Alan Wake 2. So it's interesting. This takes place before Alan Wake 2 and the game was made before Alan Wake 2, right? But it's interesting that he's able to speak to Jesse through the hotline. So he's basically reaching out using his para-utilitarian powers, I guess, across dimensions uh, to speak to Jesse. It's very interesting. He also mentioned in that, right? Just picked up that there's something else out there in the investigation sector other than the hiss, right? Um, and something not good, I guess, is what I took from it. Hey, Phoenix Locks has been a channel member for eight months at the cadet level. Uh, Phoenix, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The blurry finger does too. All right, let's get down there. Investigations. Let's do it. Hey, what's up, Drake? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining in and uh, dropping a like. I really appreciate it. Good to have you. Catch up on the VOD if you want to when you have a chance. Uh, good luck with the rush. Jin Will, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. All right. Uh, hello, or Bello. That's what I have. I have grip and I have charge on here. Okay. It is dark as fuck. Okay. That surprised me a little. Man, this place is big. Head to sector office. Okay, this is sector office though, right? Hello? Hello? Anyone here? I'm starting to feel like there's not. not. All right. There is a piece of lore here though. Missing agents. Let's see, uh, Mr. Kirkland, this is 2017. Mr. Kirkland, here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. Agent Jonathan Connor, researcher Ezra Cruz, Agent Caroline Dempsey, Agent Lindsay Malcolm, Agent Charles Murray, and Agent Derek Shaw. Letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You'll be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. I, so I know what the word firebreak means, but what does it mean in relation to the Federal Bureau of Control? I'm assuming we're going to find out. Um, I don't recognize any of these names off the top of my head, and I don't know if we're supposed to or if they're just you know, for this lore document. But I will say, Caroline Dempsey, that name sounds familiar. And I don't know if my brain just is latching onto that name for one reason or another. I'm not sure if that's like a minor or ancillary character, more but crowded. in the Alan Wake universe, but maybe. Uh, Darling Investigation, ooh. Official findings report, Dr. Casper Darling. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite the accounts of anonymous redacted regarding inhumane treatment of a redacted currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. 
Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. The majority of redacted sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such redacted contained there. One redacted confirmed the redacted's code name to be redacted, but all files pertaining to that name were inaccessible, being classified under the Heinz clearance level. Investigators were similarly blocked from entering the redacted research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into redacted research. God damn, that whole report was fucking redacted. Casey inquiry, Alex Casey? Alex Casey, right? FBI agent? Character in Alan Wake's novels? He's real, but he's also not real because he's a fictional character, you know what I mean? Mr. Dennis, a request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for all our files on Bright Falls, specifically, that's where the Alan Wake games take place, right? Bright Falls, Washington. Specifically on the disappearance of the author, Alan Wake. Per the interagency information exchange agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all the pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. <laughs> But I'm writing to let you know that we received this, special, this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with a writer's fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on this guy. Special Investigator Gleason. That is very weird. This, that was very weird. It's very weird in the Alan Wake games that that happens. So they're investigating redacted research that are going to be very busy. I think what the redacted research was, right? If they're investigating Dr. Darling um, and, and everything, then what is... Hold on. Let me look. Can we look at our map here? Not investigation. Hold on. What's the name of the sector? Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hold on. I got to look at the sector elevator. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, they're either talking about the research sector or the containment sectors, right? Dr. Darling was like the head of research, essentially, right? So they're talking about one of those two sectors because the containment sector has the panopticon, which houses all the altered items, you know? Tractor supplement. So this is related to an altered item. Burrow tractor, altered item 82. Note, miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Burrow William, male, Caucasian. Case summary, 33-year-old man found dead on his property per police report. Remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Blunt force injuries, head, lacerations, left ear slash cheek, blunt force injuries, extremities, dislocation, right knee. B, complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of the proximal, proximal right humerus. Extensive trauma ab abdominal region. So let's translate this, right? I'm not a fucking doctor, but the right upper extremity with associated fracture of the humerus. So the humerus is your a bone in your leg, right? Um, so I'm assuming what they're talking about here is his right leg, avul avulsion, I think means his right leg was basically pulled out of his hip socket and broken is what I'm taking that to mean. That's sounds terrible. Complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small, small intestine, all missing from scene. Conclusion, it is my opinion that Mr. Burrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Oh, oh, my sweet, sweet summer child coroner. I don't think it was an animal attack. Far from it. Resignation letter. Man, we're getting lore dumped on me, aren't we? Like, right away. What's up, Goober? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing... Humerus is in your arm. I'm a fucking idiot. Never mind. Upper extremity makes sense now. Okay, so his arm was pulled out of socket and broken. I thought... No, that's your femur. Man, my anatomy's off. Listen. Listen. Don't listen to me. All right? Talk to your doctor. Bethany, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Appreciate you being here. <laughs> Thank you, Goober. <laughs> redacted of, for keeping me honest. Redacted of Redacted 2019. To whom it may concern, it is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's redacted. 
My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears. So I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our re long redacted who has routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the redacted loose inside. Bro. So something is loose in the investigation sector and it's bad enough that the head of investigations resigned uh, and he's worried about his staff working in those conditions. I will never forget the screams of Brage agents begging for us to open that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The redacted has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirklund. Okay, so Kirklund was the head of investigations, which I think during the course of the base game, we heard that name before, I believe. If we did, it wasn't very often. Staffing issue. Mr. Dennis, so yes, there's an increase in altered world event cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more altered world event cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost and the Hartman thing and the, the Hartman thing? I don't know. Hartman sounds familiar. Hartman, like, sounds really familiar to me. And the ones who left for other departments after Kirkland quit were barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing, and this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. This lobby isn't meant to be to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and as Kirk Lund's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. Hartman, why does that... The name sounds familiar from Alan Wake, and I can't... Hartman, Hartman. So Barry Wheeler is Wake's agent. Alice is his wife. I think, is that the psychologist that he saw? Because he was having problems, right? Is that the psychologist that Wake saw? It might be. I might be wrong, too. I could be completely batshit crazy. Yes, yes. Okay, I just looked. Unapologetic Yen said, isn't Hartman that doctor from the game? Yes. Uh, okay, yes. What's his name again, though? What's his full name? Starts with like an E or something, right? Is it Emil? Is it Emil? It might be Emil Hartman. Yeah, he's the psychologist that Alice sets Alan up with because she's worried about him, his mental state, his anger issues and all that, right? Their marriage troubles. He's the psychologist, I think, that Alice sets him up with. I think so. I think so. <clears throat> you guys are playing with April? <laughs> with the With the famous... All-knowing eight ball. All right. To Chief Investigator Dennis, it happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our redacted. Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough, but why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of reoccurring problems is the staff at Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on redacted lake if they won't let me see the data? Okay. Lake House Research Station, Cauldron Lake in Bright Falls, Washington, right? Where Alan Wake takes place and that altered world event happens, right? One of the research stations there on the lake in a little island in the middle of the lake is called Lake House Research Station. The redacted lake name here, of course, is Cauldron Lake, right? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigation agents. It's only a matter of time before this redacted hits again, AWE. And I won't be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Agent Estevez was on that list of missing agents that we just got not too long ago. There was a button over there that I could press. Um, and we'll go press it after we look at the head office here. Office of Head Investigations. So this is uh, William Kirkland's office. 
God damn the lore. So they're preparing us here. Holy fuck. Official findings report, Dr. Raya Underhill. Dr. Raya Underhill is a professor. So Underhill is the, she works in research and she's the one down in the research sector where the mold is, who is studying the mold. And she's like that British lady who's obsessed with it, right? And she's kind of uppity and snobby and we don't like her. And I said I was gonna fire her, like she was gonna be the person I was gonna fire. Dr. Raya Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill once worked with the Bureau as a para-botanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked for her, including Dr. Darling. With her, I'm sorry. Dr. Underhill has no known connections to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs since leaving the Bureau. She left? Did she come back? This is weird. Her civilian behavior has been ideal with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship. We knew it. We never had confirmation until now. But when we told her Dr. Darling was missing and that we suspected he was either in another dimension or we hinted at that it, he could possibly be dead, her whole demeanor changed, remember? And I said it then. I said, oh, they had some hanky-panky going on. We just got hanky-panky confirmed. Uh, of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and revisit, revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. Okay, so she worked for the FBC, left, and then came back to investigate the mold. Okay. Well, that's the first official, official confirmation we have of that relationship and everything. Dude, holy shit. They're just like, here's all the lore. <laughs> Travis C with the $50 stream elements donation said, keep up the hard work. Travis, you absolute legend. 50 bucks, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That... I mean, do I even need to say it? I'll say it, but do I even need to? $50, that helps out a lot, man. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, all right, official findings report on redacted. <laughs> per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, redacted, redacted was launched into the redacted of director Zachariah Trench. Was launched, an investigation was launched into him? A recent change in redacted witnessed in Director Trench, including aggressive behavior, I think is the redacted, when redacted with other staff has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. So we know, or we got confirmation at the end of the base game that uh, Trench, um, when they were using the slide projector, the hiss actually invaded him first or started to take over him first. But because he was a director and a para-utilitarian, I think they weren't able to fully control him and the spread was slow, right? But he's, when they were using the slide projector and they went to the other dimension where the hiss were, they invaded or corrupted Trench and he brought them back to the oldest house, oldest house unknowingly, right? And slowly over time, they corrupted him. And at some point, right before the base game starts, I think Trench was able to fight them off enough to where he took the service weapon, the director's weapon, right? And shot himself in the head. And I think the reason he did that or the implications for the reason that he did that, offing himself, was that he believed offing himself would stop the spread of the hiss, right? Um, so I think that's why he did it. That was at least what I took away from the ending of the base game, right? Notable redacted between Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous bureau staff, although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter. Witness accounts suggest their arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the redacted kept inside. The redacted there, I believe, to be the slide projector altered item, right? from the ordinary altered world event that Jesse and Dylan were a part of. However, no evidence exists to confirm Director Trench's redacted as anything more than interpersonnel disagreements. This investigation has concluded that Director Trench's behavior is not indicative of any redacted and that his fitness to lead is not in question. So what's interesting is, I think that's the first time we've it's really been hinted at that there were signs that Trench was not okay. 
right? Before everything went down. Uh, Trench's official warning. Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken on certain altered world events monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done. All right. You are a worm. That's what the hiss called us, right? So that's the hiss like leaking out into his, his communications. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The prime candidate program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be Zachariah Trent, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Yep, and those last statements there, you're choosing to become my enemy. That's kind of like language. That sounds very Hisk-esque language-like, right? From the base game. Hey, what's up, Misty? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Ash North, welcome. Good to have you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Don't forget to talk dirty to the like button before you smack it. Wait, yep. Yeah, just make sure it's only one time. Because if you do it twice, it undoes it. So, it can only take so much. Uh, wait. Was there something else up here? Before I go do that? Did I miss? Or do I, maybe it's just the window back down that I really feel the need to... Yeah. Okay. Well, what's up here? There we go. You just gotta break in sometimes, right? You need a power core. I, I, I see, I see, I see. More lore. God damn, dude. All right. Ethics investigation. Official findings report the prime candidate program. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program redacted by the Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, very little firsthand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation deep classified by Mr. Kirklund both paint an alarming clear picture an alarmingly clear picture of systematic redacted and redacted. Redacted were brought into the old that's Dylan, right? Uh, were brought into the oldest house and placed under redacted examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic redacted of paranaturally inclined redacted. Not only is this in breach of the Ash Act, but it flies in the face of basic human redacted. I'm gonna say decency. This investigation team unequivocally redacted the prime uh, candidate program and recommends that it be redacted immediately. So shut down, condemns and shut down, right? Or some variation of those words, right? Uh, weapon mods, what do we got? Projectile speed 44, but it's a blue, ew. Ew, it's only like a level three. Get it out of here. Okay, what else do we have? Tractor procedures. Burrow tractor, altered item 82. Item is not in bureau custody, none known. A Frank Elk tractor, olive green. Dried blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. The, it's uh, fucking, uh, it's the car from the Stephen King thing. What is that again? What is that? What did someone? Why can I not think of shit tonight? Someone, um, what's the name of that? You guys know what I'm talking about. Wesley, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. <clears throat> Caroline, that's it. Thank you. It's the car from that. Oh, Christine. No, Christine. You're right. Christine. <laughs> yeah, it's Christine. It's it's the car from Christine, the, the possessed car. Only it's a tractor. Uh, the item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panicked calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau communications staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. So the tractor's still at large. Speaking to Miss Bureau, Burrow only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. You know, 
I gotta be honest. This happened in Texas. I feel like our police are armed to the teeth. And in Texas, everything's bigger. I'm surprised the Texas police just didn't bring out like a bazooka and blow the thing up. Because I would bet... I would bet a lot of money that they have one somewhere. Hey, what's up, Possum? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. All right. Power core is necessary to power something. Uh, can I just burst through you guys? Uh, yeah. Keeps putting. Oh, there's a thing back here. God damn, dude. Keystone inspection. All right, Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to the target AWE, like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you to try and keep a lid on this Grumman Morales desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given their records, it is possible they've switched teams like you suspected, but I don't think that's the case. What team would they switch to? What team is there besides the Federal Bureau of Control? An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case, but that was just the adults, if I'm remembering the file correctly. So ordinary is the AWE that Jesse was a part of, the main character that we play of, right? Play as, right? This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on a cover story. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. All right. Power core? Power core. Power core. What happens if I take this power core? What is that even powering? It's powering lights that no longer work. Okay. Well, you're not necessary for that then, are you? Now that gate should open. Oh, the gate. That was to power the gate here. Okay, gotcha. So then that's everything else in here, right? Yes, it is. All right. I'm working on uh, working on English and literature tonight. Yes, absolutely. What's up, uh, Lady Savage? Welcome. Good to have you. Unapologetic again. I recognize I said something about a couple of your comments, but I don't know if I said hi. Welcome. It's good to see you too. Uh, keep going. Our first control point. And another piece of lore. God damn. I mean, I'm not complaining. I really like the lore in this game. It's fascinating. But I don't think we've ever had a room or an area in the game drop this much lore at one time. Official findings report incident number A-49. The purpose of internal investigation X0397 is to examine the containment failure of specimen SL-1 that resulted in the deaths of redacted agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal work. On the redacted of redacted, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive redacted. Why would they redact aggressive behavior? Cross-referencing that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. The air filters were changed, and an hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice Redacted entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. Now listen. Alice is the name of Alan Wake's wife. That redacted thing right there is just enough for W-A-K-E. So I think that's Alice Wake. And we did know from earlier playing this game that the FBC at one point in time did pick up Alice Wake and talk to her and interview her about the events that happened in Bright Falls and about Alan. So she was at the oldest house and the FBC at some point in time. We also had that confirmed in Alan Wake too. So I believe this is Alice Wake right here is who they're referring to. See interview number 65-124. I would bet dollars to donuts if you took this interview number and compared it to the interview number in the note that told us that Alice Wake was in the FBC and to the the dialogue or the parts about it in Alan Wake 2, it would match up. 
Given their connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that Miss Wake's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the redacted. Investigation is ongoing. It would also make sense that whatever got out, <clears throat> um, which I believe is Hartman, Hartman thing is what that one note said. So if it's Hartman or Hartman taken over by the darkness, Alice knew him. So him getting out when she was here kind of makes sense. So... All right. I'm going to try to make as many of those Alan Wake connections tonight as I can, guys. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it. Okay, we got a light switch to pull, right? But there's a room here with another piece of lore. <laughs> Blessed organization. Paracriminal profile, the Blessed Organization. Okay. This group slash individual has operated outside of the Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, which is, I think they're the ones who had the, um, the slide projector, I believe, right? Or no, the Action Max camera from the foundation dlc right that altered item as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials in 1994 a los angeles based public speaker named chester bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item that is that is the action max camera thing that was a side quest in the foundation dlc that's it uh because his name chester's name is mentioned in that dlc in 1988 a business called blessed repair and service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case perhaps even creating it none of these businesses or individuals have ever been located however their connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial an arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the blessed organization that's really the first besides it doesn't call them a paracriminal organization that's really the first indication that we've had of an opposing organization to the FBC. So that's, oh, hold on. Oh, that's the control point, okay. So that's interesting. One more time. Do we know each other? I feel, this feels familiar. I can't seem to, I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm, my name is Alan Wake. Who are you? That's Mr. Scratch. That's Mr. Scratch, the evil Alan Wake. Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. Oh no, that's Thomas Zane. His, his, his other world. alter ego, Tom. the film guy. The poet. The diver, you, you look different. That was just a, a role, a character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker, an auteur like yourself. Yeah. I'm, Working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Woo, Nat Springs, Dr. Darling. He's out there. I, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with him. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. It's not a loop. It's a spiral. That was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? All right. So let's hey, orient Thomas ourselves. Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember <laughs> that wrong. All right. So let's orient ourselves for a minute. So the reason that Alan seems crazy there and Thomas Zane looks like him, right? So again, control takes place between Alan Wake, the first game, and Alan Wake, the second game, right? Alan Wake 2. Um, Alan, at the end of the first game, if you haven't seen or played it, spoiler alert, I said this earlier, but spoiler. At the end of the first game, he dives into Cauldron Lake, which is essentially a threshold, right, to another dimension or a parallel universe. He dives in to that threshold, which takes him to the dimension or the the parallel universe where the darkness rules over everything, right? The the para natural entity or interdimensional being the darkness who's evil and is responsible for all the bad shit in the two Alan Wake games, essentially, right? And he does that because he believes he's switching places with his wife to save her, right? Now, he has been stuck there. At the end of Alan Wake, the first one, you, you learn that he, he does that and he's stuck there. He can't get out. So he spends 13 years trying to use his para-utilitarian abilities and powers, which are what he writes comes true. He has been stuck there writing, trying to write a story that comes to life that is him escaping that dimension, right? Now, the only problem with that is he's in the dark place and the darkness rules over everything there. And the darkness is messing with his head, right? It's basically like an entity fucking with your mind 24 7 365 days a year making you think see um crazy shit and then also giving you amnesia right he has problems remembering things right constantly at this point in time when control takes place he's been there between eight and ten years right somewhere in that time period so he's been there a long fucking time trying to get out right so at this point he's completely like batshit crazy because of the darkness messing with him okay um and then thomas sane is both a poet and a filmmaker he is technically considered an alter ego of alan and it's almost like i guess the implication in the alan wake games is and this is a heavy this is like really there's stuff to support this but this is really just a theory is that thomas zane is an alter ego of Alan that Alan actually brought to life and wrote when he was trying to write himself out of the dark place, right? So that's who Thomas Zane is. That's why he looks like Alan. <laughs> that's why they're both artists, right? Or our tours. But Thomas Zane is a little more like party boy fucked up than Alan is, okay? So it is, it's a game theory, Wesley. Yes, you could say it's a game theory, but that's just a theory, right? <laughs> so essentially, I mean, it is confirmed in the games that Thomas Zane is an alter ego of Alan, like in some manner, like they're connected in some way, but it's not ever officially spelled out what I just said. It's just heavily, heavily, heavily hinted at, okay? All right, we're back at the Ocean View Motel, right? The place in between dimensions. I think if we try this door right here, it's going to be locked. All right. We are in Ocean View Motel, Charlotte. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Hunter's Heart, good to have you. Thanks for joining. Uh, El Eliminator, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you being here. That's weird. Are we going to go into the janitor's office? Huh. We've never had the vending machine come on when we're at the hotel. Hey, what, uh, what's up, Misty? Welcome to the stream. Thanks, thanks for joining. Good to see you. TV's on, so we should... 
All right, there's going to be some sort of puzzle between these three rooms, right? Oh, was that the clue? Am I supposed to leave the TV on? I can no longer interact with it. So I'm going to assume I was supposed to turn it off. Ooh, that's a problem, though. I can't hit the bell again to switch doors. Huh. That's still locked. I wasn't given a key. Hi again. Did I say hi twice, Misty? <laughs> Probably in the span of like one minute, right? Can I blame it on the dark presence and, and the hiss? Can I say they've been messing with my mind? <laughs> and the final door opens. Okay. And the keys here? Okay, yep. You go ahead and blow. You know, we never interact with stuff on the right side. It's interesting. Dr. Emil Hartman devoured by hungry darkness and became the thing that had... I was right him. about his name. I remembered. Course, killed everyone he could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Okay, so hold on. Let's Hartman's final act. So, all right. So that's confirmation. Emil Hartman is a psychologist in the first Alan Wake game. I believe he's mentioned in the second one too, right? He's someone that um, Alice basically makes Alan go see because she's worried about his like mood issues, his depression, his writer's block, and his anger issues, right? Now it's i guess something has happened to hartman um and wake just said almost hinted at that hartman is like a monster but he has also been changed or affected by the hiss now that's interesting dr emile hartman was desperate let's let's watch it again in, in the good thing Bureau of control had stolen his life's work this was his last chance his final experiment what he'd been too scared to do before Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. Uh oh. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. The hiss. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. Yeah, the hiss. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't, and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Okay, so if I remember correctly, Hartman, he was actually in Bright Falls. He was a psychologist in and around Bright Falls area in Washington, near the events of the Alan Wake games. So. We got confirmation he was corrupted by the darkness. The Bureau came and picked him up during that altered world event at some time, tried to contain him in the investigation sector. Then the hiss got into the Bureau and the hiss resonance also took over Hartman. And so now Hartman is this thing that has been corrupted by the darkness and corrupted by the hiss. He's like this amalgamation of these fucked up interdimensional enemies. This is insane. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Diamante, you pointed out you hear things behind these doors. Hold on. I don't hear anything right now. I do know, now that you mentioned that, in the other Alan Wake games, you don't come to the Ocean View Motel as often as you do in Control. But um, in the Alan Wake games, both of them, you come to it a few times. And uh, every time, it's kind of the same thing. You interact with stuff on the left side sometimes, sometimes not. But uh, the right side rooms, yeah, you do hear weird noises or like strange things whenever you're in that hallway. So I don't know that you can ever pinpoint them to what side they're on. 
in the Alan Wake games, but yeah. Uh, what's up, JJ Frost? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Jen Lee Jones, welcome. Good to have you. Man, this game is long. So uh, this is the last... There's only uh, uh, two paid DLCs, and this is the last of those, so this is it. Yeah, but I would say the base game, if you're thorough like I was and try to do all the content and side missions, it's probably like 30 to 35 hours. And then add on the two DLCs, which are supposed to be between five and six hours each. Then you got another, you know, 10 to 12. Um, I have a key, right, to this door back here. I got the key. That's right. So I'm assuming that Hartman is going to be the big bad or the boss in this DLC, right? That would be my assumption here. Based on all the information we've just gotten about him and been getting about him. Ooh, now the way is unlocked. Okay, let's save this. Good shit. Okay. Did I miss anybody else joining? Joseph, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Joker, welcome. Good to have you. His, his darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, that's what he is. Well, fuck. I'm assuming that's the creature in my thumbnail. I don't know for sure. I just looked at the press kit for... Oh, fuck. One of those things is over there, and I gotta go over there. All I did was look at the press kit for the DLC and choose, you know, a cool image, and then I, I kind of took another promo image and made my own thumbnail in combination with the creature. But I'm assuming that's th that's Hartman in, in my thumbnail would be my assumption. I hate these things, dude. I'm assuming I have to go to the other one down there, but it doesn't hurt to check both, right? Because somewhere around here are going to be side quests. Ooh, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl, I see blood. I see blood over there. We're gonna go to the non-blued first. Okay. Well, I think that's the way for it. What about the blued way? Oh, no. Oh, no. How did his leg get broken that's out here when it's not even under the thing? Oh, All right, well, that guy got squished edition. are in the investigation Wait, sector here. I'm assuming Wake wanted us to come here because well she doesn't know about the Hartman connection right we know because we've played the Alan Wake games but she doesn't know All right. hmm that guy had a rough time yeah he absolutely did I would not I would I would not want to go out like that. I'm gonna be honest being crushed to death. Oh God shaded fa facet new upgrade material The fuck is going on here? Why is it doing that? Why is shit floating too? Normally the hiss don't cause items to float. They cause people to float So is that hiss related or something else like what am I I just walk that past this doesn't look like a house shift. Whoa, dude. This is Do fucking trippy. Know? The hell is going on here? Filing and processing and then a control point. Okay. Something weird going to come out of here. No. Nope. All right. All right. We got to do our yin and yang launch speed boost. Yin and Yang. <laughs> Jesse, you suck at your job. There's still way too many hiss. <laughs> That's true. We didn't we didn't do a good job of eliminating them all, did we? Um hold on though. I wanted to look at that launch speed boost because I think that's a new launch speed on launch kills plus 34%. 
So every time I get a launch kill, it increases my uh, the speed of the items I throw by 34% is the way I'm understanding that one. Hopefully, I think. Oh, man, I might as well get rid of some stuff, right? We're at that point in time. Shield strength. Oops. We're getting we're getting there. We're, we've got 34. Okay, get rid of the 64. Uh, get rid of the 20. Shield energy cost. We we'll get rid of that one. Ew, blue. Get rid of that. Uh, what is this? 19% ammo recovery on evade. Absolute. Well, that's an absolute though. I hate to get rid of an absolute. Uh, explosive energy recovery. Uh, energy gain from taking shield damage. I'm not. I'm not gonna use that though. That's the thing. C speed. We have way better. Okay. What are we at now? 17 out of 24. That's good. Let's do the same thing here real quick uh ammo cost per shot i kind of want to keep those reload rate of fire recoil mm, projectile blast radius blah 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 from taking melee damage i'm never gonna use that uh okay i think we're good or as good as we can be filing and processing yeah here we go oh god for a second i thought hey you know what, bud? It tried to hit me. Foot gossip. Hello, my feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Filing and processing. That's gotta be a letter from a crazy person outside. What? It, did they take over a vending machine? What am I supposed to do to that thing? What the fuck? Okay, did it stop? The hell was that, dude? All right, we gotta check all the offices. We need all the lore. The lore's been so good so far. Oh my God, look at the math. Only Einstein could figure that shit out. Well, and somebody he taught too, probably. <laughs> Let me in. There's gotta be a way in here. I can't move these objects. Nah, I don't buy this, dude. There's a way in this room. Plus, there's something in there. Yeah, there's an item in there. How do I... I'll just blast this apart. I can't move those? How do I... Is there a way to drop down from up top? No. So then, do we see a way in that way? No. A building shift, maybe? will let us in oh it's like right there dude i could squeeze through i know i could uh launch efficiency shatter projectile boost energy recovery okay what's in the center room we blasted this place apart nothing hey what's up Cass? welcome to the stream thanks for joining good to have you service tunnel okay probably the way forward do we need like a and then there's whoa that's like the house has gotten a little wild in here it does okay all right apartment arrest 
Official arrest report, case 74-WA-004. WA, does that stand for Washington? Hartman, Emil, Wake, Allen, Anderson, Tor, Anderson, Odin. So the Andersons are um, the old gods of Asgard, right? Characters from the Alan Wake games as well. Redacted, Lane Rudolph, uh, Diesel Windy, uh, Emerson Thomas, and Redacted, Dennis Special Agent Remy. Code 4, kidnapping of altered individuals, one count. Uh, code 8, sanctions against altered organizations, one count. So he was with the Blessed Organization. Code 37, obstruction of bureau investigation, one count. Code 74, breaching the Ash Act, six counts. I would love to read. Like, we've gotten hints as to what is included in the Ash Act, right? Which, uh, Ash was the original Northmore. Right, the one of the original directors of the Federal Bureau of Control, his son, who was essentially Dr. Darling. He's not Dr. Darling, but I mean, he was like kind of like head of research before Dr. I don't think he was actually head of research, but he was like he was like doing the same things that Dr. Darling was just not as shitty of a person um, prior to Dr. Darling. But anyway, his name was Ash, right? Offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by the Bureau, researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers, due to their sen <laughs> seniality. They're, they're senile. They're senile. They're crazy. Uh, and Wake, possibly deceased. Okay, so at this point in time, the Bureau doesn't realize where Wake's at or what's happened to him. Hey... <laughs> Welcome to the stream, FU. Uh, thanks for joining. Good to have you. WA may stand for Wake Allen. That's true, too. That's correct. Good catch. I didn't think about his name backwards like that. So, yep. Could be one or the other. Absolutely. In fact, it's probably more likely what... It's probably more likely that, honestly. What the fuck is that? Aim a powerful light source at the darkness to destroy... The darkness is in here? Darkness is blocking the door. So what? Now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Holy shit. You know, I didn't think of it like that. So the hiss is a resonance. It's a sound, right? It's an interdimensional entity that is a sound that is bad and in trying to invade uh, our world and humanity, right? The darkness is not a sound it's a physical like manifestation of shadows right and 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 dark it's interesting well i did not expect the darkness to make an appearance i don't know why i just didn't so we need to get a powerful light how do we get it we don't have a flashlight how do we get a powerful light oh are we gonna get a new weapon mod or uh not weapon mod um sword i'm looking for weapon form we didn't get a form in the foundation. I hope so. I want a new weapon form. Something to upgrade. Something to spend all my goddamn source on, dude. For fuck's sake. I've been carrying around so much source. It's burning a hole in my pocket. Uh. Okay. Not going that way. Unless. Hold on. <laughs> the darkness. <laughs> Where the fuck do I go? Hmm. Oh, wait. Hold on. I know what to do. Aim a powerful light source at it. Oh, I'm a silly goose. I got it. Me understand. Um. Maybe we're not going to get a weapon for him. Yeah. Oh, I should I should carry this my my thing recharges I should carry this around for now oh there's a dead guy I hear the darkness I hear it oh do I hear it I that familiar sound Wait, was there something down here? No, no, no. Just that stuff. This looks like mold. That looks like mold, bro. 
shit. Uh, can I duck? I can't duck holding this. Okay, let's set that right there. We're gonna we're gonna carry that around though. We need that. Fucking get out of my way. You know what? Oops. Alright, that's the way out. This is a little side diversion, I would assume. We have the antidote for the mold, so we're able to we're able to walk into this area. God damn, dude. What does that mean? Are those just buttons on that? Is that all that was here? This is weird. The mold has stretched this far too. So there are three interdimensional beings invading the FBC's headquarters, the oldest house, right? The hiss, the darkness now, and then the mold is also an interdimensional thing that they brought back, so. I think that's pretty bad. There are three interdimensional invaders. It's no bueno, dude. The ambience is fucking killing me, man. I don't like it. Hartman, he said, baby, 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 yeah. Is he singing fucking Justin Bieber? What the fuck is going on, dude? I probably got copyright struck for that right there. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think about it until afterwards. Oh, where'd my light go? Why did it go out? It, like, despawned. Well, fuck, dude. Nah, there's another one here. Okay, that's why. They want you to... Oops. Not that. They want you... To have a light, it looks like. Oh, is this... Is this where I couldn't get through before? It absolutely is. Okay. Noted. Fire break is that way. Operations center that way. Active investigations that way. All right. Well, we're not going back behind us because we literally can't. So we're going this way. The third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a world okay. through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. What's up, Josh G? I, I might have said hi already. I can't remember if I did, though. So I'm going to say it again. That's a map of the U.S. in there. Operations Center. All right, we need a power core. Hey, I knew I'd need this. That's a brat. Why you hurt my eyes like that? All right, I'm going to leave you right there for now. Well, it's dark, dude. It's dark. I'm glad I have my launch fully upgraded so that this doesn't just... It doesn't slowly drain me to carry this around. We got some lore. Ooh, NASA operation. Or NASA cooperation. Interagency cooperation decision. NASA. The... F Following the NASA FBC coordination agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the Redacted far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Orth orbit, the Redact Orth orbit, the Redacted will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. I would say so. Let's watch that hotline too. Just get some, you get a little bit more color. The third thing. The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman. Vibrating, remolding. I said hi three the times, Josh. <laughs> the darkness, the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. 
a third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros. An Ouroboros? A spiral. A spiral. <gasps> the gravity Dude, the connections. Like, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. <laughs> what? The third thing was a monster. Orange peel? What the fuck? He'd tear apart any ordinary person <laughs> crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Ouroboros is a loop, not a spiral. Not according to Alan. <clears throat> Maybe we just don't see the spiral. I think in the Alan Wake universe, instead of it being a loop, like what Alan is, so the whole loop, it's not a spiral thing that is central to Alan Wake 2 story, right? Which it seems it started here in Control. What I think what the, the, what Sam Lake, the creative director and the writer for Alan Wake, right? Is hinting at, and he worked on this game as well with that is for a long time, Alan thought that all of his actions and trying to get out of the dark place and everything like that, he thought that it was a loop, right? He thought he would write something, try to get out. The darkness would influence him and fuck it up. He wouldn't make it and he'd have to start again. He thought he was in a never ending loop, right? Repeating the thing, the, the same actions and ending up at the same result over and over again. He slowly realizes throughout Alan Wake 2 that he's not stuck in a loop. He's stuck in a spiral. So he's continuing to descend into madness, right? He's continuing to descend further and further into the dark presence's dimension and reality, going down, down, down. And the further he goes, the more memory he loses, the more the dark presence is winning. So the more he's descending into the darkness, right? And so that's what they're hinting at with that. And it's almost, I know like technically a spiral ends and a loop never does. But the implication in the Alan Wake games, especially the second one, is that this spiral never ends, right? It just goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, right? AKA the rule of threes. Three deepers, right? <laughs> so anyway, that's the implication in the Alan Wake games. The implication in the Alan Wake games is that uh, the spiral is worse than a loop. Um... I know that would be contradictory to like that visual aspect of it, but it's kind of subverting from a from a writing and a story standpoint, right? That's uh that's a writer trying to subvert expectations, right? It's a writing technique or a storytelling technique. Uh this is uh there's a control point through here. Before we go there though, we gotta look at everything in the uh operations center here. Black market. <clears throat> uh, official findings report illegal altered item market. A black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided and redacted. Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. There's a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of the general public. These criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. And C, the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. So, hey, what's up, Cynic055? Welcome, good to have you. Thanks for joining. There was somebody else I saw in chat that I was positive I hadn't said hi to. And maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry, though. I don't see them now. All right. Um, we'll leave the light there for now, I guess. 
Oh, there's a board with some quests on it. That's Ati's cart, right? And Ati's singing. And that looks like the board from the janitor's office. Fuck it, let's take him. What do we got? Another fine mess. Cura Pratt, that's a Finnish word. Ah, more plants. Oh, we did a plants quest before right. in the base game. Let's go make some new friends. Clear the mold, okay. It's no good for you. Darkness everywhere. Burn the dark. Like dark but good for nothing. Get rid of it. I can pull the panels off the back of these <laughs> off the back of the computers and see like the ribbon cables in them and everything. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is a map of the US. And what are they mapping here? They're ma there's like a I don't know what they're map. I mean, these are the major cities, right? Some of these are the capitals. Not all of them though, I don't think. Oh, excuse me. At some point here, when we get out of this, all this lore, I'll tell you guys about my day. But, um, I'm tired. But, uh... This is all the capitals? Oh, man, my geography is bad. I mean, I recognize all the city names. I just don't know. Like, I know Indianapolis is the capital of uh, Illinois. I know Columbus is the capital of Ohio. Uh, Richmond's capital of Virginia. Charleston is the capital of West Virginia. Frankfurt. Is Frankfurt or Louisville the capital of Kentucky? I don't know. Maybe it is Frankfurt. Anyway, my, my geography is a little fuzzy on what's capital and what's not. Uh, interrogation complaint? Interrogation complaint. Kirkland, so you put me on a desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do. My job. Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more, and they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension, see if that slows me down. Agent Hewitt. Oh no, we got a rogue agent. He is pissed. All right, let's see if we can do some of these side quests yet. Um, the plants. Uh, Jesse helps Ati by giving the plants in the investigation sector some much needed light. Uh, oh yeah, we could go back and do that. Give them some light, huh? Let's go back and do that real quick. Let's clean up these side quests, huh? Hey, what's up, Brian? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Aren't they mapping for AWEs? They might be, yeah. They might be. What's the significance, though, of just having the capitals, though? I don't know. Springfield is the capital of Illinois, not Indianapolis. Really? And Frankfurt is the capital of Kentucky, LOL. Uh, hey, what's up, Paolo? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you being here. Miss Paolo, good to have you as well. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that tells you all you need to know about my geography uh, ability, right? Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective. And hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Hours <laughs> What? do not accumulate overtime compensation. That's bullshit. Thank you for your attention. So if you go to another dimension or do an astral plane dive, which is part of your job, you uh, can't claim the hours there? That's fucked up. What kind of fucking shit is that, dude? Is this the... That's the... How did I get in here? Is it this way or did we come another way? Didn't we come from this way? Did we come from up? I think we came from up. All right, we'll fix that. Hold on, no, 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 we didn't. We came from here, right? And we came down. I need to take this away because we're supposed to give the, I, I need to take this with me because we're supposed to give the plants light, right? 
So we need to go find the plants back here and uh, give them some light. So there's some in there the op. There we go. Doesn't hey. that feel better? There's only going to be like three. There we go. We gave him some light. Is it this one? Welcome back to the land okay. of living, little buddy. There we go. Perking them all up, dude. They can't be dying on me now. Could be some more here, right? Any plants on like the sides here? I doubt it, but just make sure, you know? I hear weird shit in the background, bro. Blue ball is the capital of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it Pittsburgh? Is it Pittsburgh or is there somewhere else? If it's not Pittsburgh, it should be Pittsburgh, right? Because Pittsburgh is like, it, Pittsburgh has got to be the biggest city in Pennsylvania. Also, is Frankfurt really a bigger city than fucking, than fucking, uh, than Louisville? I thought, like, why is it the biggest city, the capital in every place? Wouldn't that make the most sense? Or am I just, am I just dumb? I might be dumb. <laughs> Harrisburg? Okay, I know for a fact that Harrisburg is not bigger than Pittsburgh. Because I've been to Pittsburgh and I've driven through Harrisburg before. I've been to a lot of states on the East Coast. I, so, why is Harrisburg the capital? This makes no sense. What, what are we doing in America? That we have fucked it up this bad. Hey, what's up, Jennifer? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Melon Conwow with the $5 stream elements donation. Melon Conwow, welcome to the stream. And thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it. It helps out a bunch. You are a legend. Rob, welcome to the stream also. And with the gifted channel membership that went to Jennifer. Rob, you rock star. Thank you. All right, there's got to be more plants that need juicing up around here. There's got to... Wait, 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 wait. I got the perfect pun for this. There's got to be more plants that need sprucing up around here. Huh? Huh? Yeah, how about them apples? I like that one. That's a good one, right? It makes it even better that I'm calling massive attention to it. There's no plants on this side, okay. Man, I would really like to figure out how to get in there. The plant that we need might be in there. Oh no, there's more plants in the operations corridor. We didn't get them all. In the AWE loading bay. Okay, we can't get all of them. We can't get all of them right now. There might be one in that room back there. Why are they doing this to us? No plants? No plants. I mean, I know that I'm being colorful, but I know the answer as to why the biggest cities aren't the U.S. capitals is because probably the, the cities that are the capitals were like the bigger city or they were the population centers or they were important for one reason or another when the state was first founded or when the state uh, like, you know, needed to name a capital. But uh, I feel like at a certain point in time, right, like I imagine Pittsburgh has you know, a million or more people probably than, and maybe I'm wrong, but then uh, Harrisburg. So why not change your capital to your population center? I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm just silly. Uh, I doubt that there's a plant over here that needs help, but we're going to double check. Hmm. So we're, and we're technically in the abandoned offices. We have access to everywhere here, don't we? There's not a plant. There's not a plant out here, is there? We couldn't get back up there anyway. All right. 
Yeah, there's nowhere in the abandoned offices that we can't get to, so we should be able to get all the plants here. You looked up some town names last night, and I really want to pe petition to change the one town name in PA back to what it was. Noodle... Noodle Doozy? <laughs> noodle Doozy, hell yeah. Wait, is somebody eating some good? Uh, Apollo said San Antonio is the second largest city in Texas, only behind Dallas. Austin is the capital city of Texas. See? This makes no sense to me. This is what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Isn't also, isn't Dallas like, Dallas and San Antonio are, are both um, like in the top 10 most populated cities in the US, which is interesting. Texas has two of those cities. And I think Austin might be in like, the, I, I read uh, yesterday or recently, not yesterday, but recently, like in the last few days, and are, are a list of the like the top 25 cities in the US. And I was really surprised. I thought that either Austin, Dallas, or San Antonio would be on the list, but I was really surprised that San Antonio and Austin, or San Antonio and Dallas were in the top 10. I didn't realize that they were that, that big. Um, but yeah, I mean, why, why is Dallas not why is Dallas not also the Dallas Cowboys? Like, why is Dallas not your not your capital? What are you guys doing over there in Texas? I thought too, is that you guys' motto? Like everything's bigger in Texas? What what why why not choose your biggest city for your capital? These are inquiring minds want to know. When when I become president, we'll mandate that every state has to change their capital to their biggest city. Democracy, right? <laughs> Where are the goddamn plants? All right, chat. If you see the plants, you can call out the plants for me. Okay? We, we did that one already. But if you see a plant that's looking sad and dead and, and needs some loving, call it out, okay? There must be a building shift that's going to happen back here. That's definitely what she, what, what she said. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I remember, I don't, I don't remember these off the top of my head, but I remember in school learning the capitals and like some of the state capitals, it was like, I remember distinctly, even as a child being like, why the fuck is this city a capital of this state? Like, you know, some of them don't make any sense. Hmm. We might have to set this quest aside until later in the DLC. Uh, Metallica 1989 Seattle. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you with the, uh, Ooh, we got one. So there's one more that we're missing. There was one right there, uh, with the $10 super chat said, Hey, Skilly for president Metallica. Thank you so much for the, uh, super chat. I really appreciate it. It helps out a bunch. You're a legend. Literally. Metallica is a legend. There's got to be a plant in here, right? No, maybe not. I do see mold, though, and I wonder if that is the place we have to eradicate the mold from. Inquiring minds want to know. All right, I'm going to drop you right there for now. Uh, I don't think we get... We don't have the AWE loading bay in... Uh, place yet and uh there it looks like there's a couple building shift areas so i don't think we can finish the plant one right now let's switch over we're right outside of some mold here let's switch over and see if that makes a difference and we already read the billable hours thing um mold clear mold in the loading bay vents the ac systems and the abandoned offices which would be right here right so this is definitely where we're supposed to be. And we're supposed to shoot those things. Where? That should be an end to the mold, right? Oh my God, there's so much. Come on, recharge, 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 recharge. A 
Okay, we did it all in the abandoned. Okay, that's all of it here. Good shit. Uh, AC systems and loading bay vents. We do not have those areas yet, so we can't do that. What about burn the darkness? Uh, utility corridor, Eagle Limited, AWE, and service ducts. Okay, we do not have those, so we can't do that. Um, I feel like I should be able to do the plant thing, though, in the operations and abandoned offices. Like, okay. If I go back this way real quick. The last plant, right? This is, oh, this is operations. Okay, let's check this way for the... I think the last plant is probably going to be in that room that we can't get to right now in the abandoned offices for that area. The last plant for the operations corridor, though, we might have just missed it is all. So we got to go back this way anyway to continue. So let's just let's just try that. Astral constructs. I have con construct surge surge fires adhesive munitions that detonate when manually triggered or if their timer expires so it's like it's like sticky bomb or proximity mines Fifteen thousand, two shaded frost or yeah i have enough let's do it bro 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 enter enter make it hell yeah dude okay i need more confiscated motives and shaded frost okay we have a new oh, dude we have a new weapon for him I did not see that coming. All right, countermeasures. Uh, containment incursion, containment incursion, no. Strategic target, hiss distorted, no. Foundation. Do we have any investigation sectors? His charge, sure. Uh, pierce maneuver, sure, I use pierce all the time. Maintenance, no. Ooh, I do need to use shield rush but those were in specific areas his troopers why not i need to use the shield ability a lot tonight because i've been lacking in using it and there's an achievement related to it all right we have a new let's test this let's test this shit out dude what can we put on it too rarity uh ammo recovery on taking explosive damage blast radius oh spicy uh, we'll just do blast radius for now because we don't really have anything else that's that good. Um, what's it look like? Ooh, it kind of looks like grip, but a little more. Oh, that is grip. Oh, I guess because I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. Ooh, it looks like the shotgun a little bit, but not as as splayed out to the right and the left. It's a square. Press left to fire a single adhesive grenade. Press left to detonate. Eventually, the timer runs out, right? All right, hold on. I can fire three. But do I have to fire all three to detonate? It looks like it. Ouch. Oops. Okay. All right. I, I, I did not realize how strong that blast radius was. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh my god. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta go get some paper towels. I just spilled my water, but it's not too bad. And it, I don't think it's on any computer components. I'll put music on for you guys. My pants are wet, though. I have been wetted. Hold on. Listen to, listen to some music.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just needed to make sure that there wasn't like it didn't get on any equipment. So luckily, I managed to catch the water bottle that I accidentally dropped and it just spilled on my pants a little bit on my mouse pad, but not on my mouse, not on my keyboard and a little bit on the glass part, the glass panel, tempered glass panel of my PC, but nowhere else. I just double checked, wiped everything. So it didn't get in anywhere. It didn't damage anything. Oh, goodness. Oh, dude. All right. Ooh, though. Now my now my hands, where my hand rests on my mouse pad is a little wet. Oh, well. It'll be okay, though. Okay. Um, I've lost all track of where I'm going. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking, we're looking for one more plant here, right? And then we'll continue forward if we can find it yet. We got one there. And one there, right? And there was another one I thought that we got somewhere. I haven't seen anywhere that's necessarily blocked off yet, though, so... In, in this particular section. Man, we really need a power core. I'm assuming that turns on the lights in here. But, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Alright. There's a power core slot there as well. Probably need that to open the door. Uh, why is it still telling me... Alright, hold on. More lore. The shadow. Are they talking about the darkness? Uh, examination of paranatural entities, the shadow. Paranatural entity A-10, aka the shadow, is an aggressive redacted consisting of three known types. Type A, a localized manifestations of sentient darkness capable of occupying organic and inorganic material, as well as exerting redacted over its surroundings. So yeah, this is... I guess the Bureau calls the darkness or the dark presence. That's what Alan calls it. I guess they call it the shadow, right? So just, of course, they, they don't, they probably don't know what Alan calls it right now. Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Um, where was it? I just lost track of it. Uh, Aesthetic Machia, I appreciate it. Um, thank you. And then Lindsay, Lindsay's channel membership renewed for the third month in a row at the cadet level. Lindsay, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much for that support. It helps out a bunch. It really, really does. Um, and then Poops McGee, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Andres, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, this cool outfit that I'm rocking is the outfit that you get for completing all three levels of the expeditions free dlc um which is essentially like a challenge mode and uh, you have to complete all three uh levels of those challenges like the easy medium and hard and we did that at the end of the last control stream and man did that test my abilities in combat it looks badass and i fought really hard to get it so that's why i'm wearing it <laughs> sarah with the gifted channel membership. And that went to Andres. Andres, welcome to channel membership on behalf of Sarah. Sarah, you rock star. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, type B, shaded individuals, human bodies redacted by the shadow. These individuals become notable, notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain redacted of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaded objects, similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are redacted solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals. See AWE-35. AWE-35 is the altered world event in Bright Falls that centers around Alan Wake, right? Which may imply a shared link to a redacted intelligence. The threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered, to prepare for the eventuality of a redacted, of an incursion. Right? That's what they're preparing for. My understanding of the darkness is hey, fragmented. It's Dr. Hartman. Complete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course. My own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. Really? Given this conflict of natures, 
We know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson yeah. brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation. So Hartman of kidnapped Wake. <laughs> Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. <laughs> I work with Dr. Harmon. He's a urologist. I once saw him stitch a penis back together that was cut in half. LOL. Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, holy shit. That's like, that's a new fear unlocked that I never thought of before. <laughs> well, I'm glad there are people like Dr. Harmon in the world. Uh, Dr. Hartman is a psychologist in the games, though. Ah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't even want to I, I don't even want to think about the situation you have to be in for that to happen um <laughs> uh welcome to your first stream I'm so sorry if I mispronounce this don't take offense please because I mispronounce everything because I barely speak English um but uh <laughs> uh Dane Edwards welcome to the stream good to have you thanks for joining Eagle limited summary all right uh the Eagle limited altered world event dash 44 a train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as and this is the blessed organization right as a result of this event the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event it remains to be determined whether the awe was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage the bureau had been tracking said group at the time and the intel gather suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in bloomington as a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. All right, chat, we have to note this. The Eagle Limited train car is here in investigation sector. I'll bet, I'll bet dollar to a donut that this is fucking, this is, uh, this is a side quest, right? Because anytime we see lore mentioning an altered item or an altered world event, and this specifically says it's in the sector we're in right now, it usually either has something to do with the main quest or a side quest. But we know that this main quest focuses on the, uh, Bright Falls AWE. So. Operations Center. Okay. There's got to be another plant in here. Like, not here, maybe, but. Okay, there's a power core there. And this comes down to the other side in the Operations Center. Is that correct? Okay. Then we have that door that we can't open right now, which says Active Investigations. Oh, dude. All right, and then where does this door go? This door goes to a bathroom. Is there a plant in here that needs revitalizing? Nope, but there is this. You bought one of my coffee mugs? Is that the merch purchase that I just see? Did you just buy a coffee mug, Lindsay? Was that right now? Lindsay, you absolute legend. Thank you so much for the merch purchase. I really appreciate it. I hope you like it. I have some of those coffee mugs. I need to start. I'm always <laughs> so I bring I I would be drinking out of a skilly mug all the time uh, just because I like it. It's cool, but I'm worried about open containers of drinks in my very tight space recording closet. So I always have like my water bottles that I can close and my dumbass still spilled water tonight because you know what I did? I took a drink and I didn't fucking close it and then I knocked it over, but I caught it. So, you know. There's that. All right, hold on. We need to use the power core up here. Um, before we use it there, though, honestly, I'm going to take it. 
And I'm going to use it back at this other place and see what it does. Because I think putting it here is going to activate that. And I don't know what that does other than potentially open that door down here. But let's see what it does here. Turn on the lights. Why is it still telling me, like... I have used this now. You don't have to keep telling me. Can that... Can that... Do we need to reload? I want to get that... Okay. We finally got that off the screen. Good. Like, there's no lights on in here. And there's no lights up here. I have a fucking box stuck on me again, dude. Get the fuck off of me. Did that just power lights... somewhere else? I don't know what that did. There's another bathroom over here. We came in here, right? Because didn't I do this? We did this. Reminder. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, the reminder. Yeah, I, we, we listened to that. Sorry. Did I miss something here? Agent Fisher. I did. Inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Tripwire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance. Even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. Mostly just inconclusive and unusable. But it just corrupted. Interesting. Even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I uh, I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I can hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day. But when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. <laughs> They're messing with me, dude. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this the, the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Fiber optic fuck. I love it. Okay, there we go. Would you catch? What? Hello? Who's there? Oh shit! I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Where's my? And that's it. Okay. I need to bring the light down here. Um. I don't know that that other thing did anything. So, I guess I just need to put the power core back. I need to put the power core in the other spot. But well, where's my light now? Wait, did it just... It just powered up the lights right here. Okay, maybe that's important for later. Um, I need another light source, though. I need to check that area down there one more time. And I think... There's a light source... That respawns back in hither, maybe? Like, if I do that? Why does that thing... Okay, if I change my weapon form from Surge to... Oops. Uh, to Grip. To Grip. To Grip. To Grip. Where's Grip? Oh, I gotta scroll up now. Alright. Does that fucking note go away? It does. Okay. No. What happened to my light source? I need it to check the area down in operations. Fuck a duck, dude. I can't see anything down there. Didn't I leave it on the stairs here? Or was it the opposite stairs that I left on? It might have been the opposite stairs. Osiris, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, you are what I wanted. No, leave me alone. I don't want to deal with a bureau alerts. Although I do need to do one bureau alert tonight to knock off that achievement at some point. But I don't feel like dealing with it right now. Genly Jones with the 10 gifted channel memberships. Those went to Poops McGee, Midnight Banana, D's Nuts, Haze Buster, Bones Gaming, 
goo in the oven zachary sewell jeremy heard uh uh esoteric one zombie and i believe that's everybody welcome to channel membership on behalf of jenly jones jenly jones you rock star thank you so much that's next level support i really appreciate that all right plants 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 there has been so much lore in this um in this sector so far it's just been it's been redunculous okay we can't open that yet is there a plant in the bathroom maybe no i already said that didn't i and we already looked previously yeah, there's nowhere that's like super blocked off in this area, so I don't understand why we, I can't find this plant. <clears throat> Stream elements coming in too with the uh, with the uh, saying saying the memberships. For a minute, I was like, "Holy shit, there's more." Nope, nothing here. All right. Well, we're going to go in here and, and, and pull the button. Press the button. Pull the button. Whatever you want to call it. What does this do? Oh, shit. Okay. It makes hiss appear. The lights are on, though. hiss rangers but they're flying why are they flying they have, those those ones never flew before why are they flying i'm gonna need your help buddy i'm gonna need your help because i don't know what the fuck y'all are on now but i don't like that you're flying i'm gonna seize you too bud you guys are gonna help me kill everybody do the work guess i can't do that that's a grenade i'm gonna die there has to be health pellets down here dude there's gotta be yeah can you guys help me what happened to my guys Ranger Airborne. Okay, it is a new Hiss Entity. Uh, field research on Hiss Entity. Hiss Corrupted Ranger Airborne. This subgroup of Hiss Corrupted Rangers has manifested the ability to levitate. Similarly to Hiss Elevated Agents, however, these Airborne Hiss Rangers display no telekinetic abilities and simply continue to use mundane bureau weaponry. This evolution being so similar to the Elevated possibly indicates that Hiss can share... Can share Per permutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis however the fact that this develop that this development in hiss rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that an environmental factor is responsible they could be responding to an altered item or other paranatural element found only in that sector or perhaps this is the natural progression of the hiss ranger phenotype not enough time has passed to determine a conclusive trajectory of development for each of the hiss manifestations Assuming any such trajectory exists. Refer to file redacted. Uh, let's get rid of... We've heard these. Let's just get rid of that. All right. Well, it's it's lit up as fuck down here now. So I can run around and I can definitely tell if we missed anything. It doesn't seem we did. Eh, it's still kind of dark over here. But we could go through the... More importantly... What we could do now is go through this door. I dropped my light somewhere up here, though. Oh, is he just hovering there? I gotta kill you, bud. I'm sorry. 
I want my light back. Where my light be? All right. If I take the power core out now, I can't take the power core out now. Interesting. Yeah, and my light is gone. Well, fuck, dude. All right. Well, there, there'll be another one somewhere. What are we going into? Active investigations? Do I have enough upgrade stuff now to upgrade? No, nowhere near. I need more, two more shaded faucets and five more confiscated motives. I have plenty of source and of the other hidden shit. All right, let's put our mission back to the main mission, huh? We'll, we'll get all that taken care of at some other point. All right. Uh, I don't feel right. Something what is this? in this darkness is draining me. Oh, it's draining my... Oh, shit. I need to get into the light. It's draining my... Yeah, I need to stay in the light. It drains my, uh, my energy. Huh. This is advanced darkness, dude. This is the dark presence. Quite literally. Where are we? Active investigations. I need a light source. That needs a power core. I can't see anything. I gotta like, I gotta turn a light on in here, I guess. There's a button up there. Obviously we need to take the elevator, but before we do that, gotta explore some here. What's this do? Apartment background, okay. Uh, official findings report, Dr. Emil Hartman. Dr. Emil Hartman is a... Hey, Fur Leather Feather. Welcome to channel membership um, at the engineer level. level blah, 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 blah. And Fur Leather Feather, welcome back, dude. Been a long time. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Good to have you. Um, and thank you so much. You're a legend for becoming a channel member again. That helps out a bunch. So thank you. Thank you. You have returned. Yes. Good to see you, dude. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in redacted Washington focused on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent redacted abilities they possessed. Para-utilitarian, right? Um with the aim of shaping redacted to his own benefit, which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. Note, for more on the link between artists and their ability to redact reality through artistic mediums, see file redacted. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the redacted investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated and released redacted months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. What an asshole. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do much though with my with my constant energy drain. Plus, we need all these power cores, and I'm assuming we're gonna have to use the elevator to go get them, right? But before we do that, why don't we just get all the shit in here? Vending machine. That was the paranatural entity or uh the altered item that we encountered. Vending machine, altered item 81. None known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. A vending machine, it's front covered in a fox wooden pedal, wooden pa panel, blah, 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 blah. coin operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Attempts to cause the item to create a living redacted have consistently failed. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Redacted, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Redacted called a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposely stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise resident spirits. The bureau response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. So, well, we learned in the base game, right, that the bureau believed that the collective human consciousness, if it wanted or desired something or manifested or tried to manifest something enough that it could turn into an altered item or a threshold or a paranatural event or even an altered world, um, 
event, right? And so I think that's the implication here with the uh, vending machine is that the uh, nursing home staff were trying to cheer up the residents so much and putting a bunch of different items in the vending machine that they literally ended up creating an altered item that gives people essentially whatever they want, <laughs> right? That's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Sean Ambrose? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Sorry, guys. I was catching up on chat real quick. Oh, real quick. Oh, red light. Red light. Red light, no good, right? God, it is so fucking dark. The only way I'm navigating is by shit that, like, interactable button thingies. Uh, Night Springs screenplay, page one. No, this screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Night Springs spec script, episode one, Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. Host, voiceover. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us and even more so to Brit. All right. That's the, that's the best actor-y I can get. <laughs> nothing up here i have no energy now oh no this is gonna hurt no oh, i could still levitate just a little all right i think that's all i'm gonna be able to do here until we until we do this no idea where this is gonna take us about to find out uh wrong way shit. holy shit now what hold on <laughs> i think something's about to happen i'm gonna pause i see you guys say buffering um Everything says it's fine on my end. Let me double check. Yeah, everything says it's fine on my end. So it's probably a YouTube issue. If you're still having buffering issues, reload the web page or reload the browser or reload the app. Or if you have to, close it out and come back and you should be fine. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, my stream is looking fine uh, on, my, on my connection end. So... Metallica with the $5 super chat said, Hey, Skilly, it's too hard to give you money. Metallica, you legend. Thank you so much for the uh, super thanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, it helps out a bunch. It's too hard to give me money. What What do you mean? That uh, You can super chat. You can gift memberships. You can do the stream elements link up top with PayPal or any credit card. And I think YouTube takes PayPal or any credit card, right? What other way would you like to pay me, sir? I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have, do you want to mail cash? <laughs> I'm giving you shit. I'm giving you shit, dude. Metallica, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It helps out a bunch. So, thank you, thank you. <laughs> or is one of the ways not working for you? Oh, okay. Oh. It's Hartman. Oh, no. What do I do? Oh, an elevator. Time to go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Ah. Son of a bitch. Activate the lights to defeat the creature. Okay. Uh, activate the lights to defeat him. All right, I need power course. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right. Oh. Okay. All right, we got to activate all the lights to defeat this bitch. Nothing up here. But we do have this, which we can uh we can launch. more power for us. Where's he at? Ah, oh, damn it. The darkness has, like, supercharged him. Give me all the power for us, dude. <laughs> Don't hurt me. No more. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 you fuck. Do I just gotta turn them on? Is that all of them? That might be all of them. Okay, drop these right here, man. And then hit the lights, baby. Yeah! The 
That's right, bitch! Fucking get out of here! Yeah, he went like in the vents. Oh, you're supposed to say, how do you like them apples? Come on, Jesse. You gotta say, how do you like them apples? That's what you gotta do. It's how do you like them apples? All right, that's fine. Uh, what sector is this again? Active investigations? Okay, we can we can walk around and make sure we got everything now. That was fairly easy. I'm assuming our next few encounters with him aren't going to be that easy. You guys like pen and tonics? My wife is a really big pen and tonics fan. Uh, they're good. Listen, they can sing great and everything. Acapella, though, is just... You know, I'll listen to a cover every now and then, but it's typically not my jam. I don't know why. What does do for... I need, I need the instruments for some reason. Although I know they have music with instruments behind them, but y you know what I mean. You know what I mean. They're most famous for their acapella work, right? It's very impressive what they can do with their voices. Though I will say that. I agree with that. Oh, we can see this area over here better now. Arcade machines. Shoom. Shoom? Side Shoom. mission? Here. Shoom. Shoom, shoom. Whatever. Shoom. Mm. Oh, we have a second one too. Okay, what is this? Crowd control or deadline? Why don't we just do crowd control? Wait, am I actually gonna play? Dude, this is so. The goal of crowd control is to survive. Good luck. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's try. Uh. Surge. Interesting. Uh, survive against a horde of hiss. All right. I mean... Oh! It like... It like... It like... It seems like it homes onto them. with the $10 super chat said what is your favorite genre of music Sean thank you for the super chat you're a legend I can't blurry finger you because I'm in the middle of fighting right now but actually I can't fuck that blurry finger um favorite genre of music if I'm going super broad I would say rock if you want me to sub genre that I would probably say it's a it's a tight tie between um alternative rock and metal but uh, I listen to everything, pretty much. Um, I listen to a broad spectrum of music. Um, probably, though, the music I listen to the least would probably be uh, country, but I do have country music that I like and listen to, so anyway. Did I win? Okay, right, that's not all. That's a little bit. That's a small taste. All right, noted. Fuck you, bitch. Damn. Ow! Son of a bitch! Control him, please. Okay, I'll just kill him. Fuck it. Oh, it's the... Fuck you. God damn it. 
fucking fight for me, bitch. Okay. I can't play no more. I need I need a decent to weapons. Target down too. Oh fuck his charge. Go fuck yourself, bro. And another Salvador? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Zero deaths. You have not tuned into the wrong stream. That is correct. Got rid of that. going on in the streamer you're talking about in chat too fuck you bitch i will literally use your body to kill your friends all right Where did it go? God 
damn it. You're mine, bitch. You're mine! There's so much going on on the screen. There's stuff flying everywhere. I know. This is requiring a bit of focus for me. Just because of the onslaught of enemies. Oops, I didn't mean to hit you, my friend. My friend! My compatriot! Where are the bad people? Oh, no. Oh, no. He goes away at the end of the round? Or he died? Where's the last bad person? Okay, that's it. He got him. My, uh, my, uh, seized guy got him. Okay, I guess he didn't. Just kidding. Fuck this. Got him. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Two for one special right there. What's up, uh, Fosh? Would you say that Fosh or Fish? Gotcha. The music is just like... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Gotcha. Oh, no. This is not good. No bueno. Gotcha. Where's the hiss distorted at? Fuck, dude. All right. All right, bitch. Instead of shatter. Instead of shatter, you know what? Let's uh, let's uh, let's get surge out for this fuck. Perfect. There we go. Oh, can I get the hiss distorted? Oh my god, we've never seized a hiss distorted. Oh fuck yeah, dude. All right, how many more enemies? Am I getting near the end of this? What is she doing? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Just decided to push him. Oh, I need to use my shield ability instead of launch. That's what I need to use.
kill people. I also need to do that more. Like, I feel like I've made no progress yet. I mean, I see the bar up there, but it's been like that for a while. Oh my god, my allergies are killing me too. My eyes are fucking itching. Holy shit. Where's the last enemy? Do I just have to wait till my hiss distorted dies? And my hiss distorted isn't gonna show? What the fuck? All right, that wasn't cool. I see another hiss distorted, don't I? Oh, I'm machine gun man. All right. You're mine. You are mine. You were so helpful last time. die. Oh, shit. Oh, I got it. arcade cabinets. Stick these days. Oh. Ow, dude. Is Shum 2 open yet? Shum 2 is an altered item that allows Jesse to revisit unique enemies she has encountered before and to take another trip to the ashtray maze. Okay. Oh, dude. Ow. That required so much focus. <laughs> Arcade Shum Arcade Cabinets Altered Item 40 PE. Both items were purchased from a closing arcade in Redacted, Michigan, as part of a program to improve employee well being through recreation. The program was canceled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house, but not before those altered items were discovered. Teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together, a codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items. See research specialist Pope's paper titled The Parasensitivity of Sequels for more information. However, after proving the item's altered status, the investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming that they are important for sector morale. 
To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. Oh, that was great. Play the arcade. I've already played the arcade. Oh, damn. Ow. My neck. <clears throat> All right. Um, what happens if I play this? Like, okay. I don't know that I want to play that again. What happens if I... Oh, we can fight different bosses. We can fight former anchor mold one, uh, the mirror dimension version of us feedback loop. And then we can go back to the ashtray maze. Interesting. You guys want to fight for, uh, let's just try one, one. Let's just do former. Former is really cool. I like former. Right. It's, it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to fuck with again. Just for funsies, you know? The cabinet's there, why not? He was also a pain in the ass. Be another good warm up. Damn it. All right, we just gotta watch for the holes, right? Fuck. That's not good. Ouch. All right. What are the grenades? He didn't throw grenades before. Are these fights different? Ouch. Yeah, he feels way spicier. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Racked up my first death. That guy was harder. He was taking less damage. He absolutely was. He was taking less damage and he was throwing shit way faster than he's ever thrown before. Did I complete the mission? Did I complete that mission though? I did complete the shum mission, right? It should be in my list now down here. Just to make sure. I did. And decides to play a bit. Okay. I don't know. This is replay, so I don't know that it's ever gonna... Okay, it's, it's lit up now. Is there another level to this? Hold on. Let's see this. Crowd control. Oh, I never played crowd control challenge. Oh, all right, let's do deadline. I never played deadline. And then maybe we can try the challenge mode real quick just to see if we get anything, right? We might get something. Ah, oh, God damn. What is deadline? Kill tough enemies before time runs out. Oh. Oh, and I get five seconds with every kill. Okay. Okay. So it's like you have to keep killing, otherwise time's gonna run out and you have to kill so many enemies, right? Where are you? Kill my friend. I gotta kill my friend. 
I gotta kill my friend. There we go. Did that not net me time? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, dude, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Fuck. All right, hold on. I want to play the challenge mode real quick and see if that gets us anything. <clears throat> if you guys will permit me. This is cool. I like this. Can you please fucking... I'm assuming there's a deadline challenge as well, right? That would be my assumption. All right. Survive against an even more challenging horde of hiss. Okay, I can do this. is what I need. Gotcha. There's a hiss distorted somewhere. Oh, God, dude. Sometimes charge is fucking great, dude. I love it. Anyone excited about the new Fallout show? Dude, I am a massive Fallout fan. I am uber excited. Also, Walter Goggins is in it. Walter Goggins is fucking awesome, dude. This guy is a great actor. He's one of those actors who, like, he's recognizable enough that you recognize him, but he just disappears into a role. Like, he is such a great character actor. So, and he plays the ghoul, right? I can't wait. Super stoked. Fallout 3? Probably in my top 10 games of all time list, for sure. Um, I also, uh, I never told you guys this. I have, there was like a two year period when my first son was born that I was a stay at home dad. Um, my mom had gotten really sick and was having health issues and eventually passed. Uh, and, um, I, I quit my job to be a stay-at-home dad for a bit. I was fortunate enough to be in a position where I could. Um, you know, we could survive on my wife's income. It wasn't pretty, but we could. And I was a stay-at-home dad to... Um... Fuck, dude. All right. Maybe I don't keep trying that for right now. Let's continue. Anyway, for like, for like a little under two years. I think it was like 18 months. Um, but during that time... One of the things I did to like get out of the house was I found this group of cool people playing um, playing D and D, and I'd never played before, but I was always interested. And so, but they were playing a modified version of D and D, and it was a it was a custom Fallout version of D and D and D. So essentially, what the dungeon the DM had done is he had taken D and D and he had overlaid it into the Fallout universe, right? So instead of playing like in a fantasy setting with like dwarves and elves and stuff or whatever, we were playing in the Fallout universe D&D &D, with Fallout characters and Fallout weapons and, and super mutants and stuff. It was really fucking fun and I loved it. It was great. And we did a whole campaign like that. It was awesome. And then we started a, um, we started a campaign, a traditional campaign after finishing his whole story arc for that one um, of D and D, and I only got about halfway through that, and then he had some life. The DM had some life stuff come up, and I had to go back to work, and so I never got to finish that. But that's so I only got to play D and D for like eight months, but like six of that was like Fallout, 
D and D, and it was it was great. It was so good, dude. It was really good. Anyway, I think we're supposed to continue here, but there is a door back here that we came through. That's right. Those are the Shum arcades. Okay, we have to remember where those are, Chad. At some point, I want to come back and knock those challenges down. But I'm really interested in the story right now, so I want to continue. That is a very sick D and D mod. What are you doing so, an investigation? <laughs> hold on. Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. <laughs> I found an intercom. Langston, it's me, <laughs> Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. Altered is I an understatement. for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Boy, a flare gun? Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Lance. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep it- Oh, wow, that's great Antarctica. help. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay. Yeah, Langston well, uh, definitely needs a friend. Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, <laughs> this Hartman <laughs> thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. All right. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Stop Ever talking. Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different. Like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. What's up, Face people Hinge? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Thanks like for joining. Do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Stop does trying to connect with the brag. items. <laughs> it so right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, okay, what yeah. sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves. Like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. How long are you going to talk me, for? Though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. Alfred's his cat. I can always make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred. Is he really going to talk forever? I'm not back yet. She's very nice. Her name I'm is worried Maria. we're going to get some lore that's She's important. Older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment. She gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm going to have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement. Dude, get it. Come on, dude. This. Fuck. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on. Let me make a note. Pay back. Oh, my God. He's not Maria. shutting up, dude. He's not shutting up. Okay, I'm going. Well, there. Well, we're getting Alfred. we're getting backstory about Langston. I guess that's lore. If If you... If you like Langston. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Eagle Limited AWE. So that's the train AWE, right? Uh, that we read about earlier. I think you're very much expected to leave him talking. I think so too. I was just curious to see. I, w I, I mean, realistically, right? At some point he has to run out of dialogue, right? But anyway. Realistically, he has to. They didn't write 20 hours of dialogue for the guy. Maybe they did. I, w I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, Maria, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Zach, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. 
Okay. He is. That motherfucker is still talking. All right. Can oh. I upgrade Surge now? I still need five con confiscated motives. You know, that might be playing Shum might be able to get those easier. Right. Surge isn't going to become that viable until we get enough con confiscated motives. All right. I am going to finish off Ground Slam, and then the only other tree left after that is Melee, right? I don't know if we will get enough ability points to fully max out everything, but we'll see. Did complete countermeasures, though. Oops. Jukebox token, yeah. Uh, that was Executive Surge Maneuvers. Oh, I can do that. Why not? We can use Surge. Uh, Foundation Expeditions. Foundation, no. Research Snipers, no, no. We need something in his charge. Sure, why not? That's just a regular spin maneuvers. Nah. Shatter? Nah. Strategic target hiss elevated? Nah. Nah. No. Maintenance, containment, maintenance, containment. No strategic target. Demolition Brass, experts? Why not? Like one, You'd like Alfred. Layston, shut the proper. fuck really up, dude. For real. Well. I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. Oh, dude, you I literally can't, can't blow that up. Go fuck yourself, bro. Get out of here. Hey, what's up, Sentient? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Josue, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining. And uh, Hannah. I, oh, Hannah, right? Hannah's here. Your wife, right? Hannah, welcome as well. Good to have you. All right. Actually, though, hold on. We need kills with Surge, right? You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna make you mine. There. Oh god, okay, for a second, I thought there was a hiss distorted behind me. And I was about to freak out, dude. God, that is so off-putting. Got him. Dude, Pierce is hands down the best weapon for him. It's not even it's not even a competition. Why are you not attacking? I need all this for my health. somebody else my uh weapon mods are full i'm gonna have to fix that hello somebody down here who is it where are they oh yeah there's a hiss distorted isn't there or was that it that was it okay hopefully yeah yeah yeah, yeah. All right, can we go that way? I, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go that other way over there, but let's see. Got items over here. 
Yeah, I gotta do my, I gotta do my shit. Weapon mods and personal mods are fucking, okay. No blue, right? Uh, what are, what are these? Uh, ammo cost per shot. We could use those on multiple, right? But let's get rid of one of them. Uh, zoom. Let's get rid of the 16%. Fuck, dude, fuck. I, there's, there's choices. The choices. How, how many does that put me down to? 21? I feel like I need to do more. I need to do more. Um... Mm. We have a projectiles filer plus 10, so I don't need that. Source gain from headshots we're never gonna use. Ammo recovery on taking his charge damage. Nah. Weapon hits? That's a good one. Alright. 18 uh, out of 24. I feel like that's not so bad. Uh, what is this? C speed? No. No. No blue. Uh, launch energy cost. We have way better than that. 41. Energy recovery speed. We have better than that. Uh, ammo recovery. Got better than that. Get rid of some more. No. Uh, C speed. How are we looking now? 19 out of 24. Okay. We're fine. All right. So that's where we came from. That says Eagle Limited AWE. And this said... What did that one say? It doesn't say. Can I not go any further? Wait, 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 wait. I can. Oh man. God damn it. My eyes are watering because of my fucking allergies and I'm tired. So the reason I'm tired today is um it was my oldest son's uh birthday party today. So we had a birthday party for him and friends at uh like uh uh it's like a, a play place for kids, for youngish kids or younger kids. It's uh it's uh they have a bunch of like it's indoor, but they have a bunch of like bouncy castles and bouncy houses like everything all like blow up stuff like that set up like massive on a big scale um and like jump stuff you know uh anyway we had a birthday party there for him and uh we invited you know everybody that we could or had contact info for from his kindergarten class and everybody all of his old daycare friends who he, we've been keeping in touch with and then some family members too anyway it ended up being like 22 kids i think in total plus him and his younger brother our kids <laughs> and then you know everybody had at least one parent with them so that too so it was a massive party it was way bigger than we intended massive party ton of fun kids had a blast he got fucking absolutely spoiled in presents so um <laughs> never seen that many presents in my life so he had a, he had an amazing wonderful day which i'm really glad for him he turned six and it was a lot of fun but chasing my two-year-old around and chasing all the kids around in that place and just playing with them and making sure that everybody was being safe you know and then just you know handing out pizza and all this. it was a long day it was a long long day but it was a good day so oh uh, so tired how do i get to that how do i get to that and then when we came home too, it was like, Daddy, open the seven billion fucking presents I got. And so it was like unboxing all this crap that just took forever. Oh, I need a light source to get rid of the darkness. What happens if I step on it? Oh, dude, that's not cool, man. I need light. Oh. Lil McBilly. <laughs> yeah. So he had a lot of fun. It was a, it was a good day. Good day, but a tiring day. Um. Ooh, there's my light. There's my light. Oh god. Oh god. Get away. 
So I realized that I have the mod on for Surge that increases blast radius by 86%. So I have to be really far back. <sighs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to like go get some caffeine, even though I've had caffeine today. Steven with the uh, membership renewal for 14 months total. Steven, you absolute rock star. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My Wii U disc won't work in my Turbo uh, GRFX 16. <laughs> Steven, you legend. I appreciate that. Um, and then Steven with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to Eric, Kami of Conquest, Naughty, not good with names, and definitely not Satan. All became channel members on behalf of Steven. Steven, you rock star. Thank you. Uh, Steven is referencing a tweet that I recently made, which is um, when I'm looking for games and stuff, on the uh, Steam store, or I'm reading reviews of games. Like the number of times that I see people complaining about optimization of PC games is insane. Um, look, I get it. There's bad optimization on some PC games, but in the same breath, the number of times I see a Steam review or somebody bitching about a game being optimized, and then in that same breath, they talk about their PC and their PC hardware, and their PC hardware is like eight, 10 years old and I was like look okay I get it PCs are expensive not everybody can afford a newer PC you can't afford to upgrade I get it I totally understand but blaming a game developer because their game or rating a game poorly because the game will not run on 10 year old hardware is ludicrous the tweet that I made said it's crazy to do that it's the equivalent of trying to stick a PlayStation disc in an Xbox and expecting it to run. If your PC doesn't meet the minimum specs that's listed for a game, it's not gonna run well. That's just, that's how it is. And I also think, let me get on my soapbox, but I also think it's ridiculous to expect a developer to try to get their game to work on 10 year old hardware. I'm sorry, they can't do that. Would you rather them actually make the game or tone the game down so it runs on 15 year old or 10 year old hardware it's just not gonna happen i hate to say it i wish we lived in a different world i wish there was this happy medium where if you put out a game it could run on anything but that's just not how computers and technology and increasing demands for it's just not how it works unfortunately so but i see people out there and they're like yeah my setup is a potato and sometimes the electricity works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand why I only get two FPS in this game. I mean, you answered your own question, brother. You answered your own question. <laughs> so, anyway. And listen, I get it. There is a optimization problem more in the AAA space, I think. Um, there are a lot of AAA games that have come out recently that are not optimized for hardware that they should be optimized for and run on. I'm not speaking to that, I'm just saying, I feel like there's a lot of people who don't understand game development enough and don't understand like PCs and PC hardware enough and they just immediately go bad game, bad dev. And that's not the case, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so anyway. Um, <clears throat> this is the director. I need a ranger at this location immediately. And also, too, the other thing, too, I think a lot of people forget. I think PC gamers in general are fairly good at this, but there's a lot of people who will buy a game on PC, turn it on, barely adjust settings at all, and just have at it. And then they'll be like, why am I getting 10 FPS? You got to go in and you got to adjust the settings for your particular hardware. And if you're having frame drops or having issues, you got to go in and change settings again or lower them. It might take a little bit. In my personal opinion, that's one of the things I dislike about PC. What I like about consoles is that I can shove a disc in it and it just works generally, right? I don't have to do settings fidgeting like I have to do on a PC, you know? So anyway, hey, what's up, Ali? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. That's my soapbox on that whole topic. Sorry. Steven brought it out of me. Blame him. <laughs> killed myself by exploiting that on him. 
<laughs> let them make a game and see what it takes yeah this also came about i saw some people tweeting that content warning that game we played on friday was um was poorly optimized and then in that same breath they replied to their own tweet complaining about the optimization of content warning and said that they had a 12 year old pc get the fuck out of here you cannot have a 12 year old PC and complain that the game runs. I'm sorry. I'm not faulting you for having a 12 year old PC. Like I said, I understand finances. I understand PCs are expensive, but it's ludicrous to expect to expect a 12 year old PC to be able to run a game that was just released. It's even an indie game that doesn't look great. It's n it's just not gonna happen. You know? So, you gotta set your expectations appropriately. <laughs> Fucking shit, dude. I'm dead. I'm dead. I wish that stupid message would stop popping up on my screen every time I fucking use Surge. I get it. I understand how the weapon form works. Fucking game. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Drac Ice? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yeah, you came in on a skilly rant. <laughs> Some things make me rant. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with this encounter. Also, I need to just, I need to, I need to get back. You know what? I'm going to try spin out for a minute. I like to switch sometimes. Woo! I, I hear a hiss distorted, I think. to our advantage i'm dead i'm dead i just i just what was i what was i thinking what is skilly skilly really let's throw the let's throw the explosive forklift right at the bottom of our feet fucking shit dude uh <clears throat> jarvis said hey skilly i think the game wants you to fire surge without aiming before it gets rid of the tutorial oh without aiming Okay, that's a good, you know what? You know, you know what? You know what? You make a, you make a, you make a decent point. Let's try it. Oh, place multiple grenades. Oh, while aiming. Oh. So the game is trying to tell me, hey, you dumbass, you don't understand how the thing actually works. And then, oh my God. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jarvis, by the way, welcome. <laughs> okay, so the game's not dumb. I'm dumb. All right. I should always assume that, you know, and play. <laughs> Shit, dude. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Also, it seems like the game wants me to use Surge. Or at least that's what it feels like. Woo! Oh, girl, get away from me. Uh-uh. You're playing Dragon's Dogma too. How you liking it, man? Dude, 
If you guys don't get off of my fucking nutsack, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking lose it, man. I'm gonna lose it. These, these fucking assholes, they just, they, they, they won't stop. How is that thing still alive? How is it still alive? You're mine. You're mine. <clears throat> In fairness to the PC optimization conversation, Dragon's Dogma 2 is something that I've heard, right? AAA game from Capcom. Dragon's Dogma 2 is something that I've heard has an optimization issue that seems and appears to be legit. Like, even... Even rigs that meet recommended specs have some issues with it here and there, so... Fuck you, bitch. Was that not all of them? Please be all of them. Sweet, two confiscated motives. I needed a bunch to upgrade Surge again. Hey, what's up, Nico? Welcome. Remington Costco, welcome. Good to have Costco. Costa. Sorry, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for joining. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, thank you. I don't even remember where we come in this room at. Down below, I think, right? So we want to go up. Yeah. It's definitely down below. At least I think. No, we came in from right here, right? No. We couldn't have come in from right there. Alright, hold on. Uh, We came in from that control point over there, so it wants us to go down the hallways down below? Hello? No? Here's this. Baths are gross to you? Yeah, I do this thing where like, I, I don't take a bath, like, hardly ever. But there have been a couple occasions where I've wanted to take a bath. And, um... It's old, but the house that my... That we live in now... The prior owner in the master bathroom had, like, one of those tubs with jets installed. But, like I said, it's an old one. So it does okay. It's not great. So that's nice to, like, relax. But... I do this thing where if I do take a bath, I take a bath and then I, I, I hop in the shower and rinse off afterwards. <laughs> Cause yeah, I feel like I'm yeah, I feel like I'm stewing in my own filth. I guess you could also take a shower before you got in and then you would be clean and you would be stewing in your own cleanness. Is that a thing? <laughs> All right, I don't have any more ability points. I did complete countermeasures though. Confiscated motive. We might be able to do uh, weapon maneuvers, kill his snipers with the service weapon in any mode. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, how come there are no investigation thingies? I don't want a hiss distorted. Spin, nope. His charge, sure. Uh, can I upgrade surge again? Yes. Good shit. And now I need 13 more shaded faucets. And then I can upgrade Surge. Okay. Good to know. Insufficient materials. But hey. Surge is now uh, level 2. Good shit. Ammo recovery on taking explosive damage. Damage while low on health. Ammo cost while levitating. Damage against enemy armor might be a really good one. Reload speed. Rate of fire. Ah, uh, dude. Reload speed, though? Enemy armor, though. God. 102%. Like, how could you possibly beat that? Uh, okay. So, there's a way forward over here somewhere. Oh, I see. There's literally a yellow tarp that's like, go this way, you big dummy. Hey! There we go. Utility corridor. There's a light source here. 
and there's and there's darkness all right nope nope get away darkness all right Ati. was this what you had in mind oh okay that's that's one of his side mission things okay uh hello i would like this piece of lore brain missing excuse me to the good for nothings at the security check i know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector in quotes uh i'm not stupid i know what they're really for what i don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep i've been told if you lose sleep you lose everything else too that's where you trick us regular people now i don't know which it is and i can't remember what you did to me but I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore, Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and I will find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. <laughs> this guy thinks they took a part of his brain going through. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe the slight radiation exposure took a couple brain cells, right? So on that on that regard, he's I guess he's not really he's not wrong. I don't know. It is so goddamn dark, dude. Oh my god. I don't like this. I feel like Hartman is going to like pop out and scare the absolute shite out of me. Hey, eliminate darkness at utility corridor. Eagle limited and somewhere else. Okay. We'll just try to do this shit as we go. Time for drunk hell <laughs> fun uh poof spiggy thanks for joining and supporting while you could i appreciate it uh buh. more darkness lots of darkness jesus christ that scared the absolute shit out of me uh what happens if i throw the light at this oops I didn't mean to do that. Just kidding. I did. I did. I didn't. I don't know. All right. Oh, shit. Fuck. What are the mold doing down here? Holy shit, dude. What? My fucking nose itches. Dude, I hate allergies. So much. So much. And there's mold in here. This is... Am I supposed to pull these off? We got to blow the mold. AC systems. Will you guys break, please? And there's lore in here. Okay, hold on. Let's break the mold up first. Yeah, we can do these side missions as we go and then just mop them up near the end, right? Look at it. Look at it. Yucky yuck. That actually hurt me too. What the fuck? How is this not? I didn't need to break these to get it. Cold water is healthy for your hair? Interesting. Dude, I, I like hot showers so hot that I burn my skin off. Get a new layer of skin every time you come out. It's great. You feel super clean. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. This is another page from the Night Springs uh, TV show that Alan wrote for some, right? Director, all the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see that the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. 
International Unknown Dimension Night Scientist. What have you done? You've doomed us. Director, control yourself, Doctor. Where's this beast of yours? Scientist, right there, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. Director, what a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. How convenient. It can't be described. It's that horrible. <clears throat> All right. That's everything in here, right? We did the mold. Hip, give me the fuck out. Give me the fuck out. You know what? There we go. <laughs> I'll just bust everything. Is that another fire TV? Why does it look like that? What is that? Wait, it's like gone. What was that? Absolute fuck nugget was that? Wasn't there a place back here? Was there a place up to put the... Hold on. Didn't we need a uh, power core somewhere? Or did I already use that? I already did that. Okay. I really need that light back over here. Wow, it didn't. Okay, hold on. Stick it there, stick it there, stick it there. There we go. What happened to my light? Damn, fuck a duck. I need that light. I need a light. There we go. All right, if I go back up, can I get a light? Again? Yeah, I can. All right, good shit. I'm glad that they respawned. Because you kind of need them, you know? But the light's not working. Is the light broken? I broke that light somehow. Okay, lovely. Well, there's a lot of power cores here. All right, so I got to power all of these, I would assume. Christ. Did the Hartman thing do all this? Holy fuck, dude. What happened to their faces? What happened to their faces? All right, there's gotta be- Oh, I'm gonna have to use- <laughs> Oh, those sneaky fucks. I see what they're doing. All right, all right, all right, all right. What? There's three that run to this? Okay. That one was open because I put a thing in that. There's two that run to this. Okay, so I need the one over here. What two run to that? Not that one. This one runs over there. I guess I could just, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. I guess I could just follow them, right? Follow, follow, follow. Follow, follow, follow. It goes there. And then, oh, I didn't mean to do that. We need you. And where does the second one go? The second one goes right there. Now we have a third power core. Look at that. And then there's the one over here that's three, right? Uh, yes, three. Let's follow this first one. I did not mean to do that. Follow this first one. It goes right there. Did not mean to do that either. God damn it. Stop sticking in shit. And then this one actually, it actually needed to go there. It knew where it needed to go. Look at that. And then this last one runs around here. Runs all the way over. It's the red one goes right there. Now we have our fourth power core. All right, that's fine. 
Have we opened everything down here? We have not opened this. It has four. Okay. So the blue one running off of this goes to that. We need that plugged in. I don't really think we need this one plugged in there. Fucking give me. Fucking give me. All right. And then this one right here, this last one runs there. We do need it plugged in there. Okay, never mind. And then, okay. I need another power core. I believe it's that one, but let's double check. Yep. And then the other blue one goes right there, probably. You can tell by just the colors, I guess. So you don't even have to trace the cables. Is that the way it works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooter dodge efficiency. All right. I think we have some shit to get rid of. A blue, no thanks. These are like different effects that weren't available in the base game, but I'm not going to I'm not going to use those. And then type energy evade cost. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Damage after melee kill. Okay. Okay. Back in a good spot there. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to need all four, though, to solve the puzzle to move forward, right? Okay, so now it's how do I get in there, right? And we got to see what cables lead up there, I guess. Is it the yellow? Is it just the yellow? Like, if I power that, we're good? No, there's one more, right? We need to power this other yellow. Which goes there. So technically, I only needed two to progress. The other ones were just to get to those items, I guess. FBC reminder, law of three. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. <laughs> aquatic Thank misconduct? You for your attention. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's weird. That's weird, bro. And there's nothing else in here, right? Nope. Okay. Didn't see any darkness or anything like that. Why is all that caged off? That's sussy. There's another light source here. Service vents. Am I just supposed to... Okay, that was easy. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. I don't know how this light is still working. After being so close to a blast like that. Uh, wasn't service vents one of the places to either clear out mold or, or something? used my light to do that. I don't know if that was a good idea. Josue Perez with the five gifted channel memberships. Those went to Harry Pinecones, Setch, Tina Mac, and Jahudi and uh, Toko all became channel members on behalf of Josue. Josue, you rock star. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, man. It helps out a bunch, dude. You waiting for Indy to pop up around one of these quarters? <laughs> I don't know that he'll be around. He, uh, it's the weekend. Family time for that man. I do family time on the weekend too. It's just then I stay up late after the kids go to bed to, uh, to play games with you guys. Hello? All right. Can I finally do this? No. <laughs> still need i need 11 more god damn dude all right uh i jumped down here it's just this button eagle limited awe oh it's the train car from the awe uh-oh you know what personnel protection let's finish our bureau alert real quick Listen, we just got it and we're right at a control point to be able to fast travel and just this will be the last um, Bureau alert that we ever have to do 
I can ignore the rest. I will have gotten the achievement. Uh, we want to be over at the ordinary AWE, I guess. This should be easy too. Basically, kill all the enemies and protect the 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 good guys. So we shouldn't have much trouble with this one. Uh, is it going this way that I want to go? Perhaps. Yeah. you guys we got to do another man the, all the good guys died because i was running around blasting shit like a goddamn fucking idiot i didn't even think about that that's my bad what the fuck was that thing it was a hiss distorted it was a person that the hiss resonance interdimensional entity had corrupted and taken and like split down the center and turned into like this metal construct thing i know it's fucking weird dude uh, Eagle Limited AWE. Blonde Dragon, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Yeah, Friendly Fire. War Warlord West. Welcome. Good to see you. All right, let's get the show on the road then. Mello. All right, I see we're going to be fighting darkness. in hindsight that explosives <laughs> in a small enclosed space and blowing them up myself it's a bad idea bad idea I realize you've been lurking all stream warlord Le west hell yeah okay I got this pretty sure you just saw a wendigo <laughs> uh, there's weird shit I will tell you that god I wish I was carrying one of those lights with me you guys why can't i uh interact with this right here oh we gotta wait for the train to move okay 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Finish moving. Finish moving. Finish moving. Fuck both of you. Uh, the button's in here, right? And last time there was a... No, it's not. We don't know where the button's at. Right here. Oh, we just have to wait. That's right. tracks new mission okay new side quest uh dead in its tracks okay that's the main mission those are ati's missions investigate the train altered item yeah 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 we're gonna do that for sh for sure all right what well, this is a massive area so before we do that though we gotta explore everywhere here it's a massive area that we now have the lights on too right So we gotta see we gotta see what's going on. Nothing else over here. That is where we came from, I believe, correct? I think so. Just found your first dragon in Dragon's Dogma, and that's a big nope. <laughs> I imagine those are pretty hard. Dragons are a lot of fun in uh, Elden Ring, which, by the way, I cannot wait until the Elden Ring DLC comes out. We are going to do that together for sure. Even though that's a little bit outside my channel niche, it's going to have crazy bosses and crazy monsters, guys. Big creatures galore. It's going to it's going to be it's going to be fantastic. What the fuck? There's really nothing else here. All right, fine. You know what? Let's investigate the train altered item. Before we do that, though, I gotta go pee. <laughs> All aboard. All aboard. All right. Give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a. Why did I close out of my music? Let me, let me pick up. Let me pick a bopping song. I won't be gone for long. A bopping, nice. Which, which ones, ones I really like? Ooh, maze running is pretty good. Um. All right. Listen to this. I will be back.
I'll be back. I didn't I didn't unmute. I forgot. Alright. Alright, let's do this alter item. Alter item quests are always so fucking cool, dude. Connect with the train. Mm, okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Okay. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Jazz singer. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your mind. I can't Fast use weapons right now. As we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. scooby a doo bop boo Dishes clinking, dinner being served. All right. Yep. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Tickets. Yeah, my dog Misty's right, Warlord. My dog just got over Lepto as well. Three days of antibiotics? That's all? Yeah, my dog got lepto from what we believe to be, uh, because we have a lot of wildlife around us and deer are big carriers of it. And so just playing out in our backyard, deer urine and deer poop. Anyway, she got lepto um, and she got really sick, like, like wouldn't move, like wouldn't do anything. And we were like, I was, it was crazy. I was like telling my wife we were pending her and I was like, she feels hot. Like, I feel like the dog has a fever. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You get an infection, you get a fever, and I guess that happens in a lot of animals. But I just did, I'd never had a dog with a fever, and she like wouldn't get up, she wouldn't eat or drink, she wouldn't go out for a walk, and we took her to the vet as soon as that started happening. And yeah, she had lepto, and she had to do 14 days of antibiotics. They gave us 14 days worth of antibiotics, uh, got to bring her home, and then they told us, you know, what to watch for in case to bring her back. But we just did the antibiotics, and after a couple days, she felt better and just finished them out, and. Went back to the vet and they confirmed she was all good. Uh, so unapologetic yen, lepto, it's actually, I'm, I call it lepto for short and a lot of people shorten it to that, but leptospirosis is its name. It's a bacteria, it's a bacterial infection. Humans can actually get it too. It typically doesn't spread like you, it doesn't matter if you're in the same vicinity, but it causes fever, chills, body aches, muscle aches. It can cause nausea, loss of appetite, cause you to throw up, but it attacks your liver, um, is my understanding. It, it's a bacterial infection that attacks your liver. And uh, apparently the way it's spread, though, is through urine and feces, or if, you know, you somehow get something infected with, with that stuff. You caught it early, noticed the same symptoms, yeah. Yeah, we caught ours pretty early. Well, I mean, I don't know how early we caught it. We, The same day that the dog stopped acting normal and, and felt hot is the same day she went to the vet. <laughs> but when she went, she was very sick and the vet, the vet, you know, gave us very specific instructions, gave us 14 days worth of strong antibiotics. And, you know, we came home and, and had to make sure she took those. And she was pretty pitiful for uh, like, two days after getting antibiotics and then she was good so well that was chaotic felt like it was trying to tell me something are we supposed to go back in can make sense of it oh is there a certain there's a certain order to this okay hold on uh Okay, this and then this would be in order. Um, maybe uh, dinner first, right? Then music. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Then tickets. Next stop, Alton. Then this. Then this. <laughs> Maybe. 
Okay. Um, the good news is about Lepto, there's a vaccine for it um, for dogs and I believe for humans too, although it's very rare in humans. But, um, you know, because normally humans don't roll around in urine and feces like a dog might outside or stick their nose in it to smell it like a dog might. But anyway, um, <laughs> normally we don't do that kind of stuff as humans, right? Um, anyway, there is a vaccine and we had our dog. Apparently, Lepto can be pretty deadly in dogs, especially untreated. But uh, we had our dog vaccinated against leptospirosis. So that, again, vaccines, right? Very important distinction. Doesn't mean you can't get something. Just means you have less of a chance of getting it. And if you do get it and are vaccinated, then it won't be as bad. And the vet basically told us like, yeah, like she has lepto bad, you know, and if if she hadn't been vaccinated that we might be having some different conversations, right? So luckily we, you know, we were responsible and had her vaccinated already against it. So, okay, I guess I, I listen to these again. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome, welcome aboard. That would be the first one. Yep. Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Tickets ready, so then it would be this. The guy Red checking Ducks, tickets. Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, yep. and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. And then maybe dinner and then music. Dinner gets served and then music. <laughs> I don't roll around in feces. No, I don't. Good evening, all you fine-looking <laughs> folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Um, and then this fire, right? And then it would be the crash. And then it would be the actual crash, right? If that isn't it, then I gotta switch dinner and music. And that is not it. I, I, I'm assuming that door becomes openable. Openable? Open to debitable? All right, so first, it would be this. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the and Eagle then Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next and then this. I don't know if you have to wait for it to stop talking, but I am. I don't want to mess it up again. And Springfield. And tickets, then, please. Tickets. What did I do last? Food and then music? Let's do music Good and then food. All you fine looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Yeah, Josue, I saw that, dude. That's terrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Dinner, and then it has to be this before that. Oh my god. The crash has to be the last thing. Did I not get it right? Yeah, I knew it. Okay, there we go. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? Dead in its tracks completed. Pretty dark ride, huh? I got a weapon mod. And a collectible. Okay, let's read this and then look at the weapon mod. Eagle limited train car. Altered item 78-UE. The item's altered effect can be avoided by simply not entering it. Proper signage and barriers should provide sufficient containment. The item is currently held in the investigation sector's AWE West hangar for ongoing investigations. The item's exterior is that of a standard CZ-10 Vista dome train car, the largest known altered item on record. Its interior seems to be an adjacent reality related to a trauma or a memory belonging to a redacted and not the physical item's own history. Causation for this link is still to be determined, but possibilities include the outside interference possibly responsible for the item's altered state, or trauma imprinting via shared memory states. The item was discovered when the Bureau responded to a suspected crime scene in Bloomington, Illinois. The item was identified as an altered item and transported to the Bureau for examination and testing. See Altered World Event 44 for details. So, 
altered world event is it 35 it's either it's 35 or 45 one of those is bright falls the alan wake stuff right if it's 45 this is the altered world event that happened right before alan wake but no i think alan wake's 35 now that i think about it but i hope you're done replaying it now okay um what's the weapon mod i got dude let's see Mm, where is it i don't see it is it on a different okay hold on it, it must be on a different uh must be on a different weapon um charge maybe i don't know what weapon mod i got uh shatter one track projectile spread minus 100 why is it yellow like that it's a special one 10,000 a deconstruct exclusive to shatter so this is i've never seen a weapon mod like this like this is like this is special okay uh well we're definitely equipping that the question is what are we getting rid of plus 10 projectiles we have to have 29% recoil and 53% damage. We're getting rid of recoil. Minus 100 projectile spread. Good God, dude. All right. That's really cool. It's got like this cool yellow tinge too. That's awesome. That is so awesome. All right. Uh, We didn't get another mission, did we? No. Okay. So let's continue with this for now. We'll do the darkness and the other eliminating stuff later. Um, where am I supposed to go now? Here, eh? eh? can I? Ooh, can I get up here? Whoop, 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 whoop. I can get up here. Hold on. Oh, there's a light. Clear the darkness, Skilly. No, pick up the light for Christ's sake! God damn it, woman! Eliminate the darkness in the utility corridor. So I recently watched uh, one of my one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just a fun movie. Is uh, the original Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze? I don't get to I don't get time to consume a lot of entertainment lately. But one night I couldn't sleep well and I I just uh, popped on Amazon Prime and I watched the new Roadhouse movie with Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor. Um. It was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't the. It wasn't Roadhouse, really, in my opinion. Other than the premise, kind of. Um, the fights were cool. It was definitely very much just like an action flick movie. Um, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great in my opinion. But I'll tell you what, man. Conor McGregor is a fucking. That dude is. That dude's. I, I don't. He's. He's something. He's special, dude. Like. That fucking walk he does in that movie and the and the and he does it in real life too. Like he is he is a character, dude. He is he is a weird he plays himself, <laughs> essentially, is what he plays. He is Yeah. I, I don't I don't know. He's funny. You can't help but laugh at him. Yeah, I will say the fight choreography was really was was really good, and they had a very interesting way of shoot a unique uh like cinematic shot composition the cinematography for the fights was really good i think that's the best thing about it the acting was eh the script and the story were eh they were okay listen like i said they weren't terrible it just wasn't you know anything to write home about um so yeah so it was really if you if you want an action flick and you just want to have some fun and not have to like you know you don't have to follow any complicated plot or anything too fucking crazy. That's, it's, it's good for stuff like that, I would I would say. So, it's also not that long, if I remember correctly. It's like an hour and 45 minutes, maybe, or something like that. Or that's what it felt like. So, yeah, kind of, kind of McGregor. That fucking, I talked about it in content warning because one of the creatures, the fucking snail creature in that video, he does the Conor McGregor walk. Like, he, he legitimately does. And it wasn't just because, I mean, I wouldn't have recognized it if I hadn't watched that movie because I don't really follow UFC or anything like that. 
but he the the fucking that snail entity does the Conor McGregor walk. Swear to God. So anyway, what's through here? That's the way for. But I mean, if you have Amazon Prime and you want to watch it, uh, it's, you're just looking for something like it might be good to like put on and do chores, you know, something along those lines. All right, we'll just go this way. You were named after Patrick Swayze's character. Yeah. Patrick Swayze was a good actor. He has a lot of good movies, you know, Dirty Dancing. Uh, Roadhouse, Ghost with Demi Moore. Those are good movies. Uh, uh, Ellie Fred, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Apologies if I butchered your name. Don't take offense to do it to everybody, myself included. Um, am I going to do another content warning video? Yes. Uh, we have, we recorded two episodes at once. So we have one more episode recorded. So since we have it recorded, it's, it's most likely going to come out. Um, I would love to do more. It just depends on how the videos do for IGP and Dre on whether or not they will continue. Right. Um, and that's starting to become the case for me, but as long as it's, uh, doing well and performing well, uh, I'm sure there will be more after those two episodes, as long as both of those do well. I will tell you the, um, first episode that we put out, my, my episode specifically on my channel is doing well for me. So, as long as that holds true. Since we, uh, since IGP, Dre, and myself all have families and we support our families via this YouTube venture now, um, <clears throat> if something doesn't do well, we have to unfortunately typically move on. I'm a stubborn asshole though sometimes. Like, control hasn't been doing that great for me. <clears throat> but we're eight streams in and I'm finishing it all because I really love the game. Um, but if I was a smart man, I would, I would have dropped it. Content warning, yeah, with, I had a blast though. That's a, it's a great game. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys. Have I seen a game named uh, Kingmakers? Uh, I think it's coming out sometime this year. If you haven't seen the trailer, check it out. I will take a look at it, Hostway. Thanks for the uh, recommendation, dude. Mods, can somebody drop that in our mod chat so that I remember? Just like say, Skilly, check out Kingmakers or whatever, please. Thank you guys. You rock. You're awesome, man. Always. I really appreciate it. I really do. I wanted princess points too. You want princess points? We can give out princess points. Skilly, would you play Hospital 666 with Dre and IGP? Uh, maybe. Does that a, is that a horror game? I'm assuming by 666 it is. What is it? You gotta tell me what it is. <clears throat> it depends on if Dre wants to. I'll tell you what. IGP is typically down to play any horror game. Dre, it depends on the horror game. So you got you, so. I got, I'll have to look at it first, but yeah, uh, that's another one. If if a mod will, uh, if a mod will put that one in chat for me too. Thank you, Kingmaker, Kingmakers, and uh, Hospital Six Six Six. Would I be willing to try content warning with members? Potentially. All right. So here's my challenge with playing games like that with members. Okay. So. So, uh, uh, twofold, right? So one is it's only up to four players right now. So cycling in and out people and trying to be fair and give everybody a shot is going to, is, will take up a large chunk of stream time. Okay. And also the lobby system in it, you need to kind of, I think you have to be friends on steam. So just by the nature of like being a YouTuber and stuff, it's kind of important that I keep my Steam's friends list locked down fairly tight. And the reason for that is as a YouTuber, if I get early access to a game, which doesn't happen independently a lot, but because of Dre and IGP, I do. If we get early access to a game, we typically have to sign NDAs or stuff like that a lot, right? 
and uh, developers are more comfortable giving you early access to a game and letting you play it uh, if you don't have 2,000 Steam friends, right? <laughs> if you've got 2,000 Steam friends, <laughs> they, they, you know, they like to keep that stuff under wraps until they're ready to make, you know, certain uh, announcements and marketing things and everything, right? So anyway, so I have to keep my Steam friends list low. So the lobby system and the number of players would make it hard, right? Because, like, let's be honest. I know you guys would love to play with me, and I'd love to play with you too. But you don't want to sit and watch a four-hour stream, and two hours of it is filtering in and out people, right? Getting the game set up. You guys don't want to see that. And then the other thing is that game is very dependent on communication and open mics, right? And listen, I hate to say this. There's 132 of you here. I know all 132 of you are wonderful people. You're lovely people. You would never do this. You would never do anything bad like this. I know that you you love me and you want to support me and you would just appreciate the opportunity. I get it. But if I make an announcement and put out that I'm doing a community game night with people and it's something like content warning and somebody there's going to be people who don't normally come to our lovely little sessions together and they're going to want to troll. And I don't mean troll in a funny way like IGP and Dre and I do. I mean, troll is in get on the mic and say stuff that would get Mr. Skilly in trouble. <laughs> right. And because it's a live stream, I can't edit it out. I mean, I can post after the stream is done processing, but I can't edit it out live. So if somebody came on and said something that was YouTube no-no or bad, that could get my trouble, my channel in big trouble, and I could get a strike, a channel strike or something. And a channel strike means I can't post content for seven days. And if I get three strikes, channel go bye-bye, get deleted, you know? So I have to consider things like that. I have to consider things like that, right? Um, unfortunately, and I hate to say that because I know that 99.9% .9 of you would never do something like that. I know, I know. So that's why the one, and that's why we haven't done another community night yet. Not because anybody did anything bad, nothing bad happened, but it's really hard to find the right game that has an easy lobby management system that allows a high number of players that I don't have to friend request everybody to do right and get everybody's steam name and i could just give you like a room code or set up a lobby and say here's the lobby password everybody join me those are the type of games i want to target for community nights because it's easier logistically to just say hey guys we're all going to play this game together 40 people can join and i'll let those 40 people play for two or three games and then i'll kick everybody and then i'll let a new 40 people join right or whatever and I don't have to be friends with you. I don't have to get your Steam name. I don't have to send everybody an invite, etc., which is the way content warning works. So yeah, Fall Guys is a great is the one we did together, and that was a great example. Unfortunately, due to all those reasons and everything I just explained, I won't say I'll never do it, but but a community night with something like content warning would be difficult. It would require a lot of pre-logistical setup. Like the only way it would work is if I put like a sign up sheet out and people signed up and I friend requested everybody beforehand, but then we would still spend like probably a fourth or a fifth of the stream changing people in and out, right? So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry, I know it's a little disappointing. I wish there was a better way to manage it and do it. I really, I really, really wish there was because I would absolutely play with you guys, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, content warning with the mods is is a is a is a is a good suggestion and idea. So absolutely, yeah. If the mods are down for that, want to do that, yeah. Um <clears throat> entity capture report, shaded specimen A-010, formerly Dr. Emil Hartman. But there are gonna be with all that said, I am going to do more community play nights where you guys can play games with me. Um, Jack in the Jackbox games are re usually really fun and funny together. Jackbox would be a good one that operates kind of the same way that Fall Guys does with the lobby system. So that would be a good one. But if you guys have suggestions that fit into the parameters that I kind of just described, feel free to drop them here, drop them in the Discord, tweet them at me, email me. I don't know. Any, any of A, D, C, and B, any of those options that you want to get those games to me, you can get them to me. So, 
All right. <laughs> Uh, entity capture report shaded specimen A-010, formerly Dr. Emil Hartman. An alert from the redacted Washington monitoring station indicated minor redacted activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the redacted lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual. Per definitions found in file such and such, <laughs> and displayed violent behavior characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence, and with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were trans transported safely back to HQ, where the specimen remains detained in the redacted sector as part of the redacted AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to, re research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. Yeah, Mod Night uh, with Lethal Company was was really fun with the mods. And we didn't have to, because it's a small group, right? Or a smaller group. And we were playing with the, the big mod, uh, the big lobby. It was easy to just invite everyone pre-stream, get everybody in. And then we were good to go, right? Is that the right way? That's the right way. Um, and then everybody was just there until they couldn't play anymore. So... Yeah, it was a fun time. That stream that stream did really well for me. I had a lot of fun. The mods said they had a lot of fun, and everybody in the community seemed to really like that one as too. So. Uh hey, what's up, Tiger Tanker? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining and thanks for uh popping in chat. Really appreciate it. Stick around. We have fun. I'm glad that you like the streams. That's good to hear. Welcome, welcome. I don't think I have enough shaded frost yet. I need eight more. Okay. Well, at least it's going up, right? I guess. <laughs> I guess that's the positive. At least it's going up. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. It's another one of these. Uh, I don't know where to go. Shit, 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 bro. Okay. 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 There's his distorted out there plus Hartman. Uh, I need to power this. How do I power? I need four. Oh my God. The minus 100 projectile spread just made, uh, just made shatter fucking beast, dude. Excuse me, bitch. I feel like the game we need to go deeper with mods would be amazing. I've never played we need to go deeper, but I've heard good things about it. Okay. Okay, son of a bitch. I need to go find the power cores, but I feel like I can't leave this room. <laughs> I need the power cores. All right, I think there's one down there. I just gotta be strategic here. With Hartman. Fuck, I don't think there is one down there. I don't think I can hurt him at all. Like, I literally think it's just light because the darkness has... He has the darkness. You know what I mean? That's not a power core. How do I find these fucking power cores, dude? All right, this is a safe space. Kind of. Dude, he sounds... I fucking hate that, man. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that noise. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go go fuck yourself, bro. I feel like there's one in here. Do I have to defeat so many hiss to unlock that? Like, what am I doing wrong here? 
he's right there. Holy shit. All right, I'm doing something wrong. Among Us with Skilly. <laughs> Genital jousting, one of my mods gifted that to me. And I think the, oh, here, here's a thing right here that's open. And uh, <laughs> it looks hilarious that I would love to play it. I'm a little worried that it's not really YouTube safe. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I don't know that it's particularly YouTube safe because it's just dicks everywhere, right? <laughs> uh, Tamaris tipped $5 via stream elements. It says, seems like I managed to catch the stream live still. Saw Kung Fu, saw Kung Fu, saw Kung Fu Panda 4 today and someone was talking the whole time. So that was fun, but at least I get to watch your stream for a pick me up. Hope the fam is doing well. Uh, Tamara, you legend. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're a rock star. Sorry to hear that someone was an asshole and talked the whole time during Kung Fu Panda 4. Jack Black is awesome, so the Kung Fu Panda movies are typically pretty fun. Um, I had an experience one time with some dude talking a bunch in a movie. It was actually a long time ago. It was Independence Day, that movie with Will Smith and the aliens when it comes in. And we had somebody, we went with, a, I went with a friend and a friend's parent. And, um... Uh, we had some person in front of us. It was like my friend's dad. We had some person in front of us who they just did this. Like they, they were one of those people. Have you ever watched a movie with somebody who like they narrate the whole fucking thing with you? You know what I'm talking about? And so the lady was like doing this. You know, there's a scene and the like a spaceship hovers over the White House or whatever. And they make a big deal about it. Like a big cinematic shot. Everything she goes. Those are the aliens like out loud. And she just starts like saying a bunch of dumb shit like that, you know, the entire movie. Finally, about halfway through, my friend's dad leans over and uh, he, he leans over because they were right in front of us. He leans over to her and he goes, really, lady? Really? And uh, <laughs> she, uh, she stopped after that, luckily. I just remember, though, I was a kid, though. So like, I, I felt really awkward and I was like, oh shit. Cause like, kid me never would have said anything, right? Adult me now would have done the same thing that the dad did. And I can appreciate it in hindsight, but yeah. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. There we go. Is another one gonna open up? I need another one with uh I see it over here. It's over here now. You fucking asshole! That's why I kill your ass with your friend. What is this down here? Alright. I might be able to hit most of these from the comfort of light. Thanks for subscribing, Dylan uh, Dias. Welcome to the stream, too. Appreciate it. Fuck you, Dr. Hartman. All right, I think the last one is on this side over here. I, I believe. What the fuck was that, dude? I'm gonna die. Damn it, man. I don't wanna die and have to redo this whole sequence. Shorty, you had a similar experience. This old woman set her dog on the seat next to you, and, and let me tell you, that dog kept farting. It may have been silent, but it was deadly. What the fuck? You, the, you, there's a movie theater that lets dogs in? I mean, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes Some people's pets are not well-trained. I'm dead. I'm dead. What is he doing to me? Did you guys see that? I couldn't get out of it. He was, like, stealing the blood from my body. What the fuck was that? <clears throat> okay. Well, that was fun. 
All right, well, at least we know what to, I know what to do now. That's good. Which one is the thing? All right, we're here. I can't tell if that's a hiss distorted or... No, that's Dr. Hartman. Okay. We gotta make him go to this side. It was giving me a nice warm hug. I uh, no. No hugs allowed. I'm the director. The music is pretty epic. I agree. Sound design in this game has been good. Oh my god, dude. How do I get out? Get out! I can't get away from him, dude! Oh my god! So I don't know what I did to get out there, but I got out of it. It just, he drained over half of my health. Will you go away, you fuck? Do I gotta get you over here? I get him to teleport over here. Man, I wish my, I wish my thing recharged faster, my energy. Dude. All right, there we go. One down, three more. Shit, the ones that are further away are gonna be a fucking bitch and a half, dude. All right, he's over here. Look at that fuck. We gotta kill some hiss, right? Before we get the opportunity to do another one. <laughs> Discord wants your number, at least buy you dinner first. Yeah, Discord bots are a problem. So the only way to keep the server safe is to have the uh, number authentication thing on. Otherwise, you just get run over with bots if you have a server. Or, listen, this is not me trying to be fucking uppity or anything like that. If you have a server that has any sort of public attention, even my Z-list celebrity ass, um... It's too hard to keep the bots out uh, without the phone number thing on. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Somehow I live. That's two. I'm not gonna survive much longer though. At least we got one of the far ones away. Where's the next one? It's not that one. God damn it, dude. The fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck you. one's over here that's trace oh no the last one is fuck dude 
fuck, fuck, fuck. Alright, I have a plan. Snipe all of them and then make a run for it. No, bitch. Activate the lights to defeat Hartman. Got it. He teleports so fast. utilize all right i will take you for help sir what happened to me did i miss something did i just like go blind for a minute and not see something what killed me did anybody see what killed me did anybody see what killed me There was another guy next to me other than the guy that I was seizing? There was? Fuck, man. Behind me. Oh, God. I didn't even see it, dude. Holy shit. Well, that explains why it got me. All right. I'm going to get this, guys. I promise. <laughs> Behind you to the left. Pretty sure I saw his legs when you got the kill cam. Okay. Well, he's a bitch. Because I sure as fuck didn't see him. So he was hiding like a coward. Nope. Two shots and that's it. And we'll snipe more from the over here. How did he... I just barely dodged him picking me up. Fuck, dude. Get out of my face, you freak. the last one. Fuck, dude. <laughs> All right, we're do we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Everybody calm down. We're doing no thing. Yeah, the voice acting for the for the enemies is very very good. Agreed. Did I miss somebody else coming in? Hey! I was scratching my leg! You assholes! Hey! That one was easy. Alright, unfortunately, I think the last one is the one all the way back here. we're close to death too so you know what that means die again all right at least we're not red right now dude i 
Fuck that guy, man. All right, we're gonna go over here. That's not all. There's gonna be one up top, isn't there? <laughs> the lights are all out? Oh no. Oh no. I'm fucked. I can't see. Get in, get in, get in, get in. <gasps> oh! oh, sweet baby Jesus. By the skin of my teeth. <laughs> Oh, dude, get the fuck out of here! You fucking bitch! Who's your boss now, motherfucker? Oh, he dropped down on us. Okay. Oh, I can't go through there. Damn, dude. Find Hardwood in the Frau Moyer AWE area. Okay. There better be another control point somewhere. Is this the way we came in? Yeah, that's the way we came came in. You know what? I can get my health back. Your brain heard helicopter in the meme voice or something? I still need eight shaded facets. God damn it. How am I doing on board countermeasures? Not good. That's how I'm doing. Not good at all. Wait, don't I need snipers charged? Never mind. I guess I just got to go down after him, right? Would be my, my guess. <clears throat> okay. We have a box over here, though. What is this? Is this the way forward? Oh, that opens up back to this area. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Down we go, though. Into the darkness. Or maybe not. Because I don't see where he went here. Shit. Now the question is, how the fuck do we get out of here? Okay. Woo! I got scared for a minute. I got scared for a minute, guys. Uh, oh, okay. I see. I have to go over there. So the best way would be back this way. What is going on in chat? <laughs> I can't. There's like four conversations going on. I don't think I don't think I understand any of them. <laughs> I need to find fuck 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 fuck. I need to find the thing that's helping them. Hey, take care, Fix Congress. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. Where did they go? Did I kill them with launch? I guess I, guess I did. I'm, am I blacking out tonight? What's happening? I didn't see that guy that killed me. And I don't know what happened to those. Oh my God, it's dark. I don't like it. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I don't, I didn't see what happened to them. Right there. It says yellow logo this way. This is so dark. Is there a reason I'm in here other than just to get the light? 
Is there darkness that I have to banish? Oh, darkness, my old friend. Donde esta? There's a power. Have I been here? I have been here. But. Okay, hold on. I wanted to go back to active investigations. Oh shit. 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 Is this where they went? Fucking. Fucking hell. Yeah, it feels like it. Um, 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 um. This is too tight. This space is too tight, dude. It's too tight. There, I'll just shield run. Jesus Christ, man. God fucking damn it. Energy is supposed to recover while my shield is up. Okay, 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 bad! This is bad! This is bad! There, why is there health recovering? There is no red bubble! Where did that one come from? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, dude. Damn it. Okay, so... I'm back in the transit bay. We've beaten him. Okay. I think I'm just going to use this to teleport to active or er, active investigations. And then we can go the way we need to go. What the fuck? I accidentally opened task manager. <laughs> because I was panicking. When the when I was fighting those guys. I don't even know what button combinations. Does anybody know what the hotkey for task manager is on Windows? All right, we need to go the other way, right? How we actually go the other way, I don't know. Uh Oh my god, is it up there? There can't, it can't be that I have to get up there. That can't be right. Oh my god, is there a piece of lore right here that I missed previously? Okay, this room is really intimidating and all, but I know my rights. It's not a crime to try and get a book signed. Making unauthorized contact with a dangerous paranatural entity is indeed a Bureau, Bureau offense, offense, Mr. Langston, and can be prosecuted <laughs> as such. Uh, okay. Well, it's getting hot in my room. I didn't know that. Listen, this is being blown way out of proportion. All that happened. So this is I before he worked for the bureau. I thought it'd be cool to get a copy of the creator's delay sign. Ow. that's the book that Hartman wrote about. Okay. Uh good. So yeah, I was just looking to fill out my weight collection. I certainly didn't know Hartman had turned into some kind of shadow zombie. Some that's kind of shadow zombie. Whatever. Listen, I'm just a desk jock. I sort papers, do data entry, that kind of stuff. Don't come down on me like this. I made one mistake. I mean, I see people break the rules all the time, and no one is pulling them into dark rooms to yell at them. Yesterday, Dave Gleason and his crew were talking to that empty spacesuit and laughing empty their Empty spacesuit? We're letting you off with a warning, Mr. Langston. But this is going on your record, so one more screw up and our next chat won't be so friendly. God damn. Right. That is just great to hear, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Hey, is there any chance I could get my copy of the Creator's Dilemma back? Get out. Hey, <laughs> me. Uh, Drag Ice is making a joke because I, uh, one of the things that I say sometimes when something is close or almost happens, I say that was closer than a hair on a gnat's ass. So, that's like a phrase. It's, I think that's, I think that's from my hillbilly roots. I think that's like a hillbilly thing. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's where that comes from. It's not, <laughs> there's no other knowledge. <laughs> There's no other knowledge that I have. <laughs> Damn it, I can't go in there? Wait, is there something else we didn't get? Oh my god. Hennerman, how did we not get how did I miss this stuff? Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about delivery disaster. The movie? I don't I mean it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night with a, you know, a K, not an N, not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. <laughs> so I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I look smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off. And I'd <laughs> oh, on dude. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. Yeah, I I, swear, I'm tired swear, from today's I events. Uh, I want to play okay, games, though. The kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. All right. I feel like, should I? Oh, this is. Do I need to check this place out more? How do we get up there? That's where we need to go. Should I just go straight ahead here? Can't I don't uh, use the elevator. Maybe let's try the elevator. Fuck it. Ooh, fuck. I gotta stop yawning. I mean, I'm tired, but I'm not that tired. I don't know why I'm yawning repetitively. I'm not that tired. I'm tired, but I'm not that tired. I promise. It's just nice to have someone to talk to. Will you shut you know? the fuck up, Langston? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me You've already said that. Like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do. You Am know? I bored? No, I'm not bored. I don't want to brag, but it does Are you take kidding me? I love combat. Combat and the lore in this game. No, no. Don't brag. Are making it so <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials. No, I'm not bored. Not no one thinks they're weird. In the, not right now. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but... When he's Maybe I'm just more charm. tired than I realize, Altered I guess. I don't know. Really Here we go. All right, this is the right way. Out. It's nice to know you. <laughs> it's nice to know you have someone to talk to. Skilly says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he can't hear me. God damn it. I wish he could. Hey, take care, Paulo. Have a good one, man. And Miss Paulo, good night as well. Although I think Paulo said you were sleeping. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for the help. Have a good one. <laughs> I might have to go inject caffeine into my veins. I might have to go grab a, a, a Mountain Dizzle. Mountain Dizzle Zero. I think I'm stuck in a yawn loop. I think what it is is I yawned once and my body's like, hey, fucker, you're tired. There we go. What the fuck is this? You assholes are just like right here in my face. Dude, I just let him kill me because <laughs> I busted through that door and they were right there. The hell was that? All right, well, now I know they're there. 
right? So we're, I'm gonna go in blasting. There we go. Ooh, the darkness. We need a light. Is there a light in here? What is this? Give me the mod. Let me out. All right, drop that there for right now. We got to check the other bathroom. Yeah, I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you. Somebody done fucked up this toilet in here. They need to go to the doctor because their poo is black. That is not... I don't think that's okay. I want to break down... There we go. I was gonna say, I wanna break this down. Vigorous dodge efficiency. I have decent dodge already. Mods, though. His life is in your hands. I think it also doesn't help that I have to keep rubbing my eyes because my allergies are bothering me. Make my allergies bother me worse when I get in my small recording closet because any any like pollens or allergen irritants that I bring in here, they kind of stay in here. Although I'm pretty I'm pretty anal about like vacuuming this place <clears throat> once a week and cleaning it out. To try to keep dust from building up from my PC. that I use. Um, hold on a sec. Let me, let me, let me, hold on. darkness on this there is all right uh i have allergy eye drops that i use um i there was uh was it it wasn't last year maybe it was last year a couple of years ago something like one to three years ago or something there was uh there was an issue a quality control issue with several different brands of eye drops in the u.s and <clears throat> the problem was the eye drops got infected with like some kind of bacteria or something and then the people who used them had eye problems. And when I say eye problems, I don't mean some of them, I think just got like a bacterial infection in their eye, but some people like went blind or like lost a percentage of vision, right? Or lost the ability to see out of one eye or whatever. And I remember hearing that and it was a very small percentage of people. And as soon as uh, the FDA and these companies realized what was happening, they pulled the products, right? They did everything that they could. But obviously there was a fuck up somewhere. Ever since I saw that and heard about that, I have been terrified to use eye drops again. Instead, I've just been suffering through because it's like, do I want to risk? You know, I know the chances would be rare, but like, unless I absolutely have to, do I want to risk like, potential permanent eye damage just for some temporary relief for some, from some eye drops even though the brand that i use wasn't in that at all wasn't involved in any way in all that all that jazz i don't know man i don't know sounds about right you lost 30 percent uh on my right eye after using eye drops yeah so i just ever since then that like terrified me from using eye drops. Uh, Shoom Arcade Cabinets, altered item 40-PE. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggers on physical contact. 
Items are a pair of arcade cabinets originally designed for the games Shoom and Shoom 2, Colger's Revenge. The games were manufactured by Banco Entertainment, now out of business. Banco Namco, I think. Is that is that what it's back to? <clears throat> I don't have a problem putting eye drops in my eyes because I used to wear contacts for quite a while. We talked about that before. And then when I got older, my eyes just wouldn't accept contacts anymore, especially because of the amount of time that I was staring at a screen working in an office and now staring at a screen doing YouTube. But, um, <clears throat> so I don't have a problem. Uh, I didn't have a problem with putting contacts in my eyes until my eyes started to reject them. And I don't have a problem with eye, with putting eye drops in. I, I, I got good at that stuff, but I'm just scared to death now that what happens if another wave of like that quality control issue happens and it happens to be the eye drops I'm using. I'd be so fucking mad, dude. I'd be so mad. <clears throat> Uh, the games were manufactured by Banco Entertainment now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s, early 90s, no other shum cabinets have been, have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which speed and efficiency are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state, as proven by EEG studies on users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. Tiger Tanker with the $10 super chat. Tiger Tanker, you legend. I really appreciate that. It helps out a bunch. Thank you, thank you. Motel complaint. Hey, Stu, did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Why the hell does anyone volunteer to take out that place? Gives me the creeps, but hey, at least he came back, if you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom down in evidence processing showed me crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow, maybe human. Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later. Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See ya, Dave. Yeah, it's a matter of allergies of things irritating my eyes. I do. I, I am pretty good about staying hydrated. Uh, I wish I could see. What happened to the light that I had? Didn't I have a... It is. It's right here. I was like, I need to check this room, but I can't fucking see. We're looking for uh we're looking for a power core. We need a power core. Oh, power core. Power core? Power core. Burn the darkness. There we go. We found the power core. Before we continue though, is there anything else? Huh? 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 Say? <laughs> I do have the moisture. <laughs> oh, Goober, good reminder. I had to glance at my chat to make sure that I was on <laughs> live chat. I am on live chat, so. But I, I panicked for a second. Elevator? Uh, can I take one of those lights with me? What happened to them? Just in case. You know, just in case. Hold on. Hidden location. Fuck yeah, dude. I got an ability point for that shit, too. Fuck that, bro. What an asshole. What happened to my light? I'll just take this one. Wait, this is right, right? My light went away. 
I need that. I need a light. Why did my why did they why did they kick my light? Uh, uh. Can I get it back? Are both elevators open now? Don't do it again, game. Why? It breaks as soon as I go down? Alright, hold on. Ho hold up. What if I take it down the other one? Hey, what's up, Lord of Crows? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I also did not realize that it's 2.16 a.m. I don't know that I'm going to finish this tonight. I got to be honest. God damn it. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to have a light down there yet. Fuck. Uh, I can't put the power core in right there. Okay, I believe it wants me to put a power core in there, but hold on. Is there a control point right here? Okay. Good shit. Ugh. Abilities! All right, we need three more points and then ground slam is done. And then we will start working on melee, which I never use. I don't know why. Damn, I really, I really need, uh, I really need a light. What does that do? I need another power core though. This is a light that I could, that we could. Oh, 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 I got it. Understand. Is Un puzzled? Not the right spot. Composed. These look like they should power, but they they don't. How do I? Oh, push it this way. Okay, where's the other power core? That's an item. And then you tell it when to stop, right? God damn it, yeah. Stop right there. Fucking give me the power core. Well, we got to get the item too, right? And that's going to be stopping right there. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Roger, Roger. I think that's right. Oh my god, it's so close. It's like hit it and then stop it. Now 
Nope, gotta hit it and stop it again. Fuck, dude. Hit it. Stop it. Yeah! Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Now we put this in here. And we're gonna go. I'm assuming we need this. I don't like this, dude. Escape the darkened corridor? Fuck, dude. Really? It's too dark in here. This way. Yeah, it's way too. Oh no. The light's going out. Go fuck yourself, bro. You know what? Yeah, yeah, that's what Surge was made for. Oh, there's darkness here. I need the light. Didn't I bring a light? How did she not fit through that? You know, you know, I had that same question. Weird collision hitbox. That's the answer, most likely. Don't dare stop. We're two away. We are two away. Countermeasures one complete. Good shit. All right, this is another turntable. Ooh, oh girl. me you want to try that again hey audio recording okay we're gonna try this one more time and then we're done playing with you understand jelly where are you from What's up, Brian Wells? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you joining. Jesus Christ. Does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly. Dirt arrange you. Why are you... Prisoner? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boarding. Eyes many cauterizing loops through and about. He talks... He talks nonsense. Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Tubes. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. 
Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or whatever they do. You hear that? They're gonna cut you up. You pain in the hey, ass. take care, Tiger. Right Thanks for on. joining. Appreciate you being here while you could. No apologies necessary. You got a life. happened there dude <laughs> hey what's up michelle welcome to the stream good to have you okay this is this is the right way no 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 we came up here this is the right way this is the way do you know the way All right, we already got that. Are the hits not gonna spawn again? be too tired i might be too tired ah fuck <laughs> how long have i been streaming five hours all right i want to finish this mission and then i think i might have to call it and i might have to do like i might stream tomorrow and and beat this dlc there was so much lore to read i went the wrong i went the wrong way i went the wrong way All right, I can do this. I can do this. Unleash God mode. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's 228. I don't know if it's in there. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. God damn it. Every time that happens. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hostility be the beast? <laughs> okay. Ugh. I got it, I got it, I got it. I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Need help? No, I, I know what I need to do. I just, I just gotta get good. I can't do it. Sniper two, and I was dodging. Stop fucking. 
I'm not gonna be able to kill them because they're getting healed, but I need to get out to kill that guy. But if I step out, I'm gonna get fucking sniped by the warrior snipers! I... Maybe I should go for the sniper first. Maybe I should go for the sniper first. Maybe that's what I do. Or I could use the shield. Ah, I should have I should have been using the fucking shield. What's wrong with me? This is the wrong way. All right, I got it. I got it. I increased the death, didn't I? I think this is purely because I'm tired. The universe is trying to tell me go to bed, you dumb fuck. went. Self up or if the sniper got his shot off before I blew him up I don't know I don't know what happened there I, th I think I killed myself though I think I think I blew myself up yeah yeah <laughs> all right Nothing less, game. Fuck you. Hey, what's 
up, bitch? Two for one. Nope. Okay. Fuck you. Assholes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you have the uh, the shaded faucet? Confiscated motive. Go fuck yourself. All right. Is this where we need it? This doesn't seem right. What am I missing? This no right. Wait. That's where I came from. Down here is where I need to go. Oh, the light on the thing. Oh. Oh. We're in the shifted offices. Okay. So building shift happened to these offices, right? I, I need a... I need light. I need light. I need a power core. Uh, no sweat off the donkey's cry. <laughs> I've heard that before. Do donkeys sweat? Do they actually sweat? Does anybody know? Or sweat in the sense of oh, like us humans, right? Where am I supposed to get the fucking power core? Yeah, I need it to open. The oh. Okay. Oh, and then here's my light. Nothing in here, right? That's my light to clear the darkness over here. Yeah, dude. Am I blurry again? Dude, I, I haven't I haven't I haven't had time to look up a new camera. I don't know why this keeps doing that. I know the image is frozen. I unplugged this. Hold on. Give me a sec. Ugh. Ugh. Resetting camera. There we go. It's in focus. God damn it. Maybe I just need to do a software update. Up, update? Update. Update. There's Director Trench. To, uh, to my webcam. Maybe that's why I'm having problems with it. I don't know. There's lore. Okay. It's going to freestyle. Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. Always. Lake did call him the third the thing. The third thing. Always. My beautiful middle-aged man face. <laughs> isn't a stranger just someone Blurry might be better. I don't know. What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend? That word. Stranger. Langston Strange. is scaring me. He's getting weirder. Err. Er. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light. Langston is fucking weird, dude. Um, this guy is weird. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and makes you drop your cock. Every is this one of those things that's gonna go on forever? Because the noise scares you, then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack. I think this guy has gone crazy quack. overseeing the Panopticon and the altered items. Quack. I think he's gone legitimately like quack. bad shit crazy. Okay, it ended. 
All right. Oh, what is this? A chain letter. Oh, return to sender. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. You know, just in case. Just it. Let's get a photocopy <laughs> around here. A chain letter. Oh my god, I haven't thought about chain letters in forever. Does everybody know what those are? Or do people? I'll explain it real quick anyway. Um, hold on. Let me read this and then we'll talk about, or read these and then we'll talk about that. Examination of paranatural entities, Dr. Emil Hartman shaded. Dr. Hartman is the first type two shaded individual to be examined alive by the Bureau and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A-010, AKA the shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by or produces a redacted of darkness that makes vis visual observation difficult. This redacted also protects the specimen from harm during testing non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains redacted to some degree. For research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the redacted AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. All right, and then we have another correspondence. Uh, chain letter. <clears throat> Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no, this spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you'll be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send more letters, 30 letters in total so far, and look at her. She owns three cars, she has all her fingers, and she speaks Italian. I love that one of the positives is she has all her fingers. That's fucking great. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry. So chain letters are exactly what this is. This type of... For those who don't know, I don't know if chain letters are a thing in other countries outside America or not. They probably are. They're probably universal. But they used to be letters like this that would say, like, you've got this letter. You're now part of the chain. Like, you need to send this letter to as many people as possible or you'll have bad luck or your mom will die or something like that. Um, and there used to be emails like that too, like chain emails. And now you also see it on Facebook some, right? I don't know if everybody's ever seen it, but it's like this thing where it's like, make sure you repost this. Otherwise Facebook can use your pictures for whatever, you know, or shit like that. And it's like, I hate to tell you, but as soon as you signed up for Facebook and, you know, hit agree to their terms of service, they can do whatever the fuck they want with your stuff. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, train, chain letters were ridiculous back in the day. It's kind of calmed down since people don't really communicate via letter anymore. But um, usually they promised something good would happen to you if you did it. And something bad would happen to you if you didn't. Right. Um, and I don't know that they had much of a purpose. They were kind of innocent and stupid at first. In emails, they've they usually like had like you know some sort of malware or tracking thing attached to them or something so they were a little bit more nefarious i guess i would say oh, dude i still need two shaded frost countermeasures how we doing all right and then that's to call a ranger right all right chat well i'm exhausted from today's events it's been by way today has been a good day hella fun but i'm tired and we still have to finish this mission and one more and we have a bunch of we have several side quests there's like eight side quests and we've only done like two and we have one two three four side quests already ob obtained that we need to finish so i think what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to stream tomorrow night and try to finish this up if not tomorrow monday but we'll see we'll see just keep an eye on the channel if i stream tomorrow night it'll be the same as tonight it'll be like 9 30 p.m eastern time so at, at night time okay but i gotta go get some sleep man I'm getting old, dude. I can't keep up with five and six year olds and two year olds anymore all day without without needing the dad nap. I didn't get a dad nap today. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun though. We are we are this close. Like closer than a than a hair on a gnat's ass to finishing this game. So 
I'm excited. I'm excited to see how the ending, how this ties up more together with Alan, Emil Hartman being the main antagonist, right, of this DLC, fully connected to Alan Wake. So I'm excited for that. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.